stream. So here now, live, live. It's a live. It's a live. Oh, my whole desk is a mess. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what happens. Oh yeah, when you're trying to build stuff and I have a very limited amount of space. <laughs> was won by South Africa. Miss South Africa. Interesting. Hey, where are them ladies at? One of them's behind me rummaging through a bunch of crap. How dare. Right? Gosh, how dare indeed. Okay. All the notifications have been has been notified. You know what? I'm really sad. I noticed on my on my um, monitor, um, there's some burning happening. Mm. It's a very sad day. You can see where the um, start menu is and everything when I'm on like gray colors, like darker gray colors. You can see the burning. I wish my screensaver actually worked. You you also misspelled hijinks. Oh well. Let's put Hinks with two eyes. <laughs> Hi Hinks. Hi Hinks. Yes. Hinks. I will. I will respell that. And I capitalize the J just because. Why not? <laughs> yeah. It's now it's high jokes. Yep. Perfect. Perfectly spelled. Perfect. Hello. Hello. I swear I know how to spell. Don't lie. Not well though. Oh. What are you crafting? A house. I literally sent a picture of it. You're making Dungeons and Dragons train? Well, yes. I will probably never use it, but it looked like fun, so I did it. That's fair. Yeah. To be honest, I got distracted with the keys and the gears in the background, so that's what my eyes immediately went to. Yeah, I saw them and I was like, I don't know what I'll use them for, but I like them, so I bought them. <laughs> fair. And I was like, ah, oh, if only one of these gears was smaller, but I'm like, it's not, so I can't use it as a doorknob. <laughs> But yes, the, the shingles are what's killing me right now. I fucking hate them. So much. How are you making them? Uh, cutting them individually, and then I have to slice them in half to make them thinner because the foam is thick. So, yeah. It's not, it's not fun. I was not gonna, that I was gonna recommend pop popsicle sticks, but that just be yeah. a pain. I'd have to go get pops popsicle sticks. Yeah, that's just a pain. Or just yeah. eat a bunch of popsicles. Yeah, mm. God, if only I had some, yes. <laughs> I like using popsicles. We didn't buy any. I know. <laughs> well, we have those really weird ones in the fr freezer still. The banana ones? I think so, unless you ate those. I didn't, but Kennedy might have. <gasps> 
What do we pay her for? To live here? Um... <laughs> <laughs> so we rich. Like, very rich. Well, Kendra I'm... can get lots of outfits now if he wants. To be fair, I'm rich. You guys are just... We would kill you. But then you'd yeah. lose everything. Yeah. We would rip off your motherfucking no, head. Taking up damage, all of it comes spewing out of you. Remember? That's true. Yeah. So we'll just don't hit you through our back. Starts back. flying out of you. Yeah. <laughs> like a fucking pinata. Yeah. <laughs> this is the free for all. You're gonna have to change your uh, your image on uh, roll twenty because you are not armored, Vortan. I mean, you are, but you don't look like that anymore. Yeah, but I like it. I'm rich, so I'm fancy, so I have a mustache and top hat now. Streamlabs is like, you're in streamer mode. Or Discord's like, you're in streamer mode. Stay safe. What does that mean? Well, a lot of the streamers like to give out their home address or stuff like that and give out like lots of personal detail. Because they're stupid. Yeah, that's Why? Exactly what I was thinking. Because they're stupid. Because <laughs> they're stupid. Like, the most I'll ever say is, like, I live in Edmonton. Done. That's not even accurate. Perfect. Right. <laughs> You know, I actually think that I have your, all of your address, what? since you all live in the same house. I was... Kill her. Yes. yes. <laughs> We're just stalking us. I mean, I was supposed to send Luna a birthday present. You were like June. six months late. <laughs> I know, the one place that I can go to the UPS store is an hour drive away. We literally never go there. Wow. That's fair. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so it's just like... I'll send it eventually. <laughs> it's still in the box on the floor. All taped up. It actually says Made in Canada on the box. That's how I know it's for Luna. That's, That's how so I know. Sad. I know. I'm just like, she'll get it eventually. I mean you uh Marty, you know one of the one of the gifts. This is it, can't you? I have long <laughs> forgotten. That's okay. Like long, long, like, long can't forgotten. You, can't you like <laughs> Call them and they can do like a pickup from your house for delivery. I have I'm to gonna get drive an hour away. Well, Pure yeah. Later does for sure. Um, I know for a fact Pure Later does. So. I have to like go get all the shipping for it and get a box because my box probably isn't good enough. That's what the post office told me. It wasn't good enough, and I have to go online and print out a form to send it to another country. And I'm like, fuck that! I'll go through UPS. And yet here we are waiting. Yep. Waiting. It'll happen. Oh, that kitty. It's a cute kitty. I was like, what kitty? Memes. Yes. The memes. You know, you should just yell at Luda. Tell her she's really late. Yeah, should I yell at her even though she's right behind me? <laughs> <laughs> There you I go. think that was a yes. She told you yes. Yeah. yeah. But I ain't gonna scream yet. <sighs> hey, you can buy it. You can now buy a life-size Elder Scrolls Dovahkiin statue. Oh, how much? No. no. Yes. <laughs> uh, twenty-two hundred dollars US. Hmm. <laughs> but but no. it will protect you in your sleep sack. <laughs> From hmm. what? That is a good question. From what? Hmm. <coughs> oh, I was, just, I was thinking that while playing Call of Duty today. Dragons? No, it's a meme. Oh. And free roads take me, take home, me home to the things I belong. West, West Virginia! Virginia! <laughs> I 
can't even oh, mute no. you guys. <laughs> I'm in the same One of them's in the room with me. <laughs> oh god, you know, I have the luxury as I can mute everybody. Now that is a luxury. <laughs> Don't agree do with that. that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why? why? Why should I not agree with that? Because well, you're the issue. <laughs> so? Wow. I mean, I can't agree with it. <laughs> God. Yes. <laughs> nah, that's like. That's what uh, my grandma will say. It's like, we'll be like, Jesus! And she'll be like, hurry up, I'm on my lunch break. I'm like, oh, you're so funny. Up yeah. on my lunch break. What is, what does the lunch break entail? Because it's saying like, oh Jesus, and it says, hurry up, I'm on my lunch break. She's saying that she's Jesus, in that joke. Yeah. yeah. No, I no, I get that. that. But what would, wouldn't Jesus just constantly be crunk? I don't know. What was that? Yeah. yeah could you check that? Did you hear that, friend? Huh? What? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think we can't. Did you go something. check? I'm gonna go check a thing. Okay. It's dragons. We're too late. <laughs> it turned into a dragon. <laughs> Yoga King statue. Yeah. See, now Luna's especially late. Because the DM is here. Is, is he? The oh, only, God! The only, <laughs> person who can, the only person who can't be late is the dungeon master. You're either early or late. That's how this works. Uh, you, uh, you are 15 minutes late. I yeah. said I needed food. Well, your food is 15 minutes late. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yes. That food came from West Virginia. Of course it's late. <sighs> but yeah, I mean... I have such a mess to clean up later, whenever I actually, like, get done putting shingles on the little house. It's killing me. It's sad. Someone save me. I don't know, I don't think we need to save you. I think it's pretty cool that you, like, make stuff like that. This is my first attempt to make a thing like this. That's one more attempt than me. Yeah. I mean, it looked cool when somebody else was doing it online, and I was like, I gotta try it. Now it's just like, but it's so messy whenever you have the really cheap paper-covered foam. Mm -hmm. Well, hello, late. Hi! I am here. You're late. I was busy looking for something. Yeah, I heard. Yeah. <laughs> for this time. But it's still the sketchbook. I'm holding out hope that it's tucked somewhere and that I can find it, but so far it has been a no. It's unfortunate. Yeah, wow. I love that I just heard like one person sounding faux British and one person sounding faux Southern, and it was great. <laughs> Excuse me, I live in the South. It's not. It's unfortunate. Oh no, I wasn't talking about you. <laughs> I wasn't talking about you. <laughs> Hello. 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 Oh. oh yeah, what's it's a twelve eight. Posted. How you all doing? Good, and you? Ah! I have <sighs> honestly some of the best chili I've had in forever right now, and it's amazing. We're doing disgusting today, hey, see. Mm. <sighs> packed with tomatoes and beans, and I could not be happier. <laughs> How can you diss chili? How can you be? How can you react such a way? Marty hates chili. Really? Oh. She that can't is... even. She can't even stand the smell of it. Yep. yep. Anything, Anything bean related is a no go. Mm. 
No, that's unfortunate. That's what I was confused by. I'm just like, what, what about chili could just be- Oh, the beans. The it, anything to do with beans of any sort is a no. <laughs> yep. I, I don't agree, but I can understand. All right. Uh, any questions or concerns before we start tonight? Yeah, can we start, please? Yes, yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. 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 You were late. late too. Yeah. I was about to say too, like, how, who the fuck is you? Uh, Blizz, I need you to make a uh, dexterity save with three times disadvantage. Oh no. Uh, I think she needs to make a uh, death save. A death save <laughs> with disadvantage. With disadvantage. <laughs> Are we, Are we live? live? Yes, we've been live since Wait. since yeah. I got on. Oh, yeah. I've just been eating chili. Now, like now I feel like a proper asshole. Don't worry about it. I totally forgot that you streamed this because I stopped streaming my other sessions. Oh. You, fucking you fucking, you wasted, wasted a, 20. a 20. I did. I just wanted to see if I could do it. I mean, she was told to make three, so. She... Yeah, you, yeah, you were. were. I, I mean, I... technically with disadvantage, she'd have to take the nine, but you know, semantics. Oh no. I can't remember my uh, Phoebe, Phoebe, Phoebe the link <sighs> on Discord so I can uh, announce it to my end of the, the world. Oh god, that sounded painful. Yeah. I couldn't think of the word and it was actually hard to think. That's okay. uh, I, I spent like the latter end of this, my stream watching bad stream Steam game trailers. It was a good time. That was not a link, that was a meme. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> It's a very true meme. You should it share is. it with everyone else. I did already. That's why I had to copy. I'll go ahead and start us off. Last time, on the far fun, uh, far flung D and D campaign, Sola. I'm literally gonna have to pop up all, all your character sheets so I f don't fucking get this wrong because I cannot trust myself. Uh, Vorton, the. Uh, Dragonborn Paladin Soul possessing a living suit of armor. Yeah. Bliss, the arcane trickster rogue tiefling. Grandolf. Nah, that's, that's all that needs to be said, Grandolf. <laughs> the Grandolf, the, uh, a high elf wizard. Sorry, the high elf wizard. The... <laughs> uh, Kandor. The uh, Tiefling Warlock. Sola, the Blood Mage Sorcerer Half Drow. Ah! You, you all uh, managed to successfully get the heist done in Waterdeep. They were able to steal 650,000 gold, if I'm remembering this correctly. Uh, a lot yes. of gold. Boop, boop, give or yeah. take, yeah. Oh, boop. A shit ton that of much gold. Because <laughs> someone requested a hundred out of it. So. That's just what's in you. We took more than that. And <laughs> also, he didn't even get to use it to buy his outfit, thank you. So I don't want to hear it. Oh, Kandor, Kandor's real mad about that. You know what? That's fair. I'm sure there are other places he can buy Shut it. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> And poked. All right. Okay, um, I'm finally play this playlist. You. Oh, I shouldn't be having you play a playlist. You should be like one song, but. I have it set. I have it set to just play one song. So. Oh, okay, good. I clicked it, and it took me to a playlist. Uh, have wind. You are in the chosen the... one. <laughs> have wind in the Carobet Alberta uh, woods on repeat. That's the one we're gonna be using for this for a while. Yep. I'll um, just scroll down and find it then. Yeah. Uh, you guys managed to get yourself 650,000 gold. About 650,000. Apparently a little less than that. Like, by 100 gold. That's because I took some. It's fine. Um, and you guys managed to escape the party that you very sneakily got yourselves into in Waterdeep. And managed to return to your at-the-time patron into his little kind of pocket dimension uh, little wardrobe. 
and I've got my notes right here. Pagif told you that he needed to return to his study to prepare to teleport all of you to go into another realm since you got what you came for. He didn't need anything else. So you guys spent some time chilling out and Pagif's little opened up to your surprise little pocket mansion. Mm -hmm. You each uh, did your own thing. And unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on who you ask, discovered some harsh truths about what was going on. Candor, you found yourself trapped in a memory you can't entirely recall with faces and events that you either weren't there for or don't remember happening. Bliss, you desperately try. You were pretty much just sort of adjacent to everyone's craziness <laughs> happening yeah and didn't really know how to react so focused on trying to help candor and saw some things that you yourself can't really understand and you don't seem to care that much which is fine because candor was in trouble uh grandolf you saw faces and beings after going through tracing your name back and discovering that your name is not your name, it is a title, a legacy that was bestowed upon you, though all you remember is being you, Grandolf the Great. And you saw those spirits and spoke with them briefly before being interrupted A by Bliss. Dick. You're welcome. And then B, the thing that happened later. Uh, Vorton, you discovered a shield blessed by Bahamut, one that allowed you to don your dragonborn-like features, though under the illusion you were still a living suit of armor. That is okay. And Sola, you probably had the most hostile interaction, given that someone or rather a being from your past has been able to track you down and is very inclined of keeping up with you as the spiders from your home continue to either follow or blacken your view uh, whenever left alone after you all were able to either deal with your own personal issues briefly or were just shot out of them by the situation. You tried to contact Pagif to explain to him what was going on, at least give him an idea that there was some funky business going on. Pagif responded by slamming the door shut behind you and attempting to kill you all. You guys were able, especially thanks to Vorton and Kandor. It was Kandor that teleported into the other room with Vorton, right? Yep. Okay. Vorton and Candor, you guys teleported into the study and seeing no other means to save your allies, Vorton, you snapped Pagiv's neck, having the entire interdimensional mansion begin to crumble all around you. And through some abilities and blessings, none of you, again, have any clue on, you eventually found your way out of the dimensional pool and into an open field. And if you guys can zoom out on the map, I'm going to click how far you were thrown. Way over there. Yeah, all the way south. All the way south. Where? Oh, I didn't see any bottom. Oh. It's not even it. How do I scroll down? By the new oh, God. The where new were we? We were up here. No. Yeah. You were guys we were in Waterdeep. You, you guys were originally there. in Waterdeep, and you got oh, sent God. all the way down here. Holy balls. That's okay. That being said, that's the information above game. In game, you guys are open up into a field, and you don't know where you are. The only thing that you see ahead of you is a forest of endless trees. And behind you, the coast. Is it clear? 
The water is as clear as ocean water can basically be. <laughs> That's fair. You can you can smell these uh, these sort of intense and fresh salty air as you do hear uh, the echoes of different avians in the background. Some seagulls, others just different, more uh, mystical sort of Faerunian kind of creatures. You can make up birds of your own if you like. Fucking sky rats. You see, yeah, you just hear a couple of... That's what seagulls are, they're sky rats. There, there are both seagulls and literal sky rats because... Oh, perfect. Yep, that that's canon now because I like the idea of that. Oh no, what have I? What have, <laughs> I <done>? what have you <laughs> wrought? <laughs> I regret everything. You should. You guys, uh, I'll let you guys uh, decide if you want to immediately start going through the forest or do a little bit of role play to have your characters discuss what the fuck just happened. Oh. Oh. So the last thing <laughs> you guys remember <laughs> is Bliss, Vorton. And Candor, on fire, grabbing a stone orb. Which, by the way, Candor, you still have. I'm hanging on to it with my uh, my dear life. Hmm. Liz is going to be checking herself over for residual fire. Uh, you don't even have to roll anything for that. You are perfectly fine. Cool. In fact, if any of you were harmed or injured... Even during that little scuffle, you feel completely fine. Like, nothing has happened. You actually feel very rested. Hmm. Would you say all our injuries are healed? <laughs> <laughs> above, above game, you have the equivalent of a long rest. Hmm. Awesome. Cool. There doesn't seem to be any civilization or huts or anything on this end of the forest. It is just nature. Uh, okay. Can I roll to see where the fuck we are? Mm, what I know? Make, I would say make a nature check to see if you can, like, get an idea of where you think you might be. Oh, soft 20! Okay. Now make a history check. Uh, to see if you potentially know what this place is. Mm, okay, that's that. You, 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 they'll still know where you are. So, Sola, you being from a noble household, you've studied a lot of maps and have learned different means on when you were going to be asked to go to the surface world on your own to serve your kingdom. You were taught how to pinpoint where you are in conjunction to the maps of the, of the world. And you almost don't believe it, but you know that you are south, south, south of Waterdeep, almost at the bottom end of Faerun. What forest? Well, you think you know, but you don't really remember. You can't really remember like what the history of this forest is. Ha. Huh. Okay. Uh, um. Is, is anyone, anyone here particularly familiar with the forest on like the very south of Faerun, by any chance? Everyone can make either a history or a nature check. One of the two. One or one. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's such a hard answer. It's okay. It's okay. okay. <laughs> Grandolf got a plus five, and he still rolled an eight. <laughs> <laughs> you think Grandolf would dare go out in nature? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Vortan, with your travels, uh, trying to be the good soldier of Bahamut that you are, yeah, you, you've heard stories of this place. This is the Forest of Tether. It is, to put it simply, one of the most untouched woods of Faerun. Fey creatures, beasts, elves, spirits, you guys are in 
Feywild magic, like, ground zero. Oh, cool. Lovely. Like We're that. all gonna die. Yep. Well, I'm already dead, so... <laughs> I mean, we technically, all... we're all already oh, dead, yeah. but this is just we're gonna double our... die. I'm double <laughs> dead already. <laughs> well, we don't want to be double or triple dead. Yeah. This is all just an elaborate uh, excuse for me to bring us into Hasbun Hotel's world. Oh God! <laughs> That's why. We're Please no. References. I have not watched that yet. Really? Yeah. It's pretty good. I liked Hell of a Boss better. Hell of a Boss was better, yeah. I, I, I would agree. I think it was it was more entertaining or a little more cohesive. Anyways, Anyways continue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys uh, can continue talking or doing as you please with uh, your characters. Well, I don't want to necessarily be in the forest. Uh, can I... Fly up and kind of get a look at our surroundings and see if I can find any towns or anything in the nearby area. Yes. Um, if I don't recall, you can fly as fast as you can move normally, right? Yes, that sounds like a uh, pointed question. Uh, let me just double check. Okay, let me let Al <laughs> like, your, like, your movement speed on your character sheet is the same for when you're on the ground or when you're flying. I, I have a uh, flying speed of 30 feet. Okay, perfect. Yep. Yeah, so you, you just shoot off immediately into the air. Uh, I'm going to let them know that I'm scouting, though. Okay. You're not just, you know, like, wait. Like a dick. <laughs> just fucking you, you, leaving you, us here. You just give them the, the victory sign, deuces, and you just fly off. <laughs> Later, fuckers. That's it. <laughs> so exactly um, how close are we to the coast? I would say... I am not the best cartographer. Can I walk down to the beach? Oh yeah, it, it would be a short walk for you to go down from where you guys are to the beach, 100%. Cool. I'm gonna go make some sandcastles. I'm gonna walk with... Um, I was gonna say Bliss, that's right. Bliss, bliss down bliss to the coast. coast. Okay. Uh, bliss, you head down towards the sandcastles. It is midday, so the sand is a little hot on anyone's bare feet. Uh, you can easily get used to it by kind of like doing that little tappy dance and eventually just like letting your feet soak in the sand. Wouldn't it not She's matter? She's got like dragon that? feet. Typhoon tiefling. I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't want to assume. <laughs> yeah, I do, I do have little <laughs> dragon feetsies. You, you all, also, you are a tiefling, so heat just kind of like doesn't bother you. So you just kind of like skip down over to the the beach and... Yo. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, do make a, I'm gonna make a performance or a sleight of hand check to see how good your sandcastle is. Oh God. Wow. <laughs> That's a really good, uh... Does this fucking sandcastle have a drawbridge and a moat? Hell fucking yes it does. His proper, like, castle layout and everything. That's, that's pure. I love it. Um, Kandor, what are... Kandor and Grandolf, what are you two gonna do? Uh, I want to examine this orb while I'm trying not to continue hyperventilating, probably. Okay. Um, uh, roll an investigation check. And, uh, Grandolf, you were gonna say? Um, can I bring my slithery little snack out of his little pocket dimension that it's stored in? Yes, you can. I do that. Ah, uh, yes, so it, it sort of, uh, just slinks over your shoulder very easily as if, it, like, it was never gone. Cool. Um, I tell it to throw up the necklace that it ate. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think... <laughs> Yeah, okay, I do remember this. Yeah, um... It just kind of looks at you and kind of tilts its head. Wait, did I close out? Oh, fuck, I did. Yeah, you closed out of it. Jesus Christ. Alright, continue. Uh, it it kind of, like, tilts its head. Like, it doesn't really understand what you're saying. Or, like, it, it's forgetting what you're talking about. Right. Uh, and you can, like... I'll say, like, roll an insight check with advantage, because it's your fucking snake. 
second. Is it a real snake or like a like a like? A, oh, it's it's, it's a real ass goddamn snake. It, it's it, it can bite. <laughs> it's, it's not like a magical construct or anything. No, no. it's straight up a snake. No, it's nah, just, it's just you, buddy. If it was just if it was a construct, I just just like shove your hand down its throat. <laughs> I have respect for its personal boundaries. Uh, Grandolf, he also said advantage. Yeah, so you can roll one more time. Gosh. Oh. It's your snake. You should kill him. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to let... That's close enough to a 10, and it's your snake, so I'm going to let it. Uh, it you just kind of look at it. There's just, like, this silence of, like, nothing going on, and you're like, oh, it doesn't have it anymore. Lame. <laughs> okay, there goes that fun. Button wrecker. <laughs> um, okay, well, you know, I'm just gonna... Do I have that book still? <laughs> yes, you do. Anything you guys nabbed or were, like, pocketing before the collapse of the mansion, you still have. Um, do I have my dragon scale that got thrown across the kitchen? Ooh. <laughs> no, you don't. Okay, I'm just making sure I wrote down that it was mm. lost. I, I think you guys also destroyed it? No, she just like threw it across the room. It was like, okay. What was it? It was like it was like It was bloody. Yeah, it, it was like it was like kinda like morphing or kinda like melting from your blood alone, so yeah. mm -hmm. that was the other thing that was gonna happen was it was it, it was already gonna be like ooze anyway, so it's all good. It's fine. Um and with your investigation, Candor, you've never seen it anything nor heard anything like this does it, it has... look go ahead <clears throat> it is this just lightweight stone and i know exactly what i said a lightweight stone orb that has different glyphs and symbols and lines and if you run your fingers across it you realize that you can press in some of the circles and turn some parts of this orb into different directions but as you kind of like like, someone who just discovered what a Rubik's Cube is, you just kind of mess with it, but you have no idea what it's doing. I'm just gonna, it's gonna be called the Rubik's Orb now. Rubik's Orb. <laughs> Rubik's Orb. Hashtag sponsored. Um, I'm going to use a spell slot to summon my kitty cat. I'm going to clutch her close to me, whether she wants me to or not. She okay. does not, but that is okay. I mean, <laughs> see, it's a cat. sometimes sometimes she loves me. Thank you. Cats can I mean, love. Do, do, do you want to roll to see if it loves you? <laughs> yeah, you can. You said you were going to roll for all of her attitudes, so go right ahead. All right. Give me one second. This will be fun. It is not happy with it, but you clearly have a much tighter grip than it has the strength to try and move. Yep, it's just like, oh, Tempest, oh, oh, what's going on? I don't, I don't like this. <sighs> <laughs> Tempest, why are you being like this? I need your comfort right now. Tempest doesn't move, it just doesn't have the strength. I just picture Tempest as, like, the laziest fucking cat. They're just not happy with you. I mean, probably. Um, Sola, go ahead. How how high up are you going to fly? Uh, well, I'm gonna take note of how tall the trees are in the area. First of all, uh, mm -hmm. as so I'm... Going off of the concept that these are like this is an ancient ass forest and some of the highest trees can be like a hundred feet tall. That's about as how high up you gotta fly to even like cover the top of these things. Okay. Uh, and I'm gonna like as I'm ascending, I'm gonna try to keep note of if there's anything strange in the trees or anything looks like it's been recently moved or anything like that. Roll um. a perception check. Okay. You don't see anything for a little bit while, but as you continue climbing uh, the trees, there's, there is something that kind of pokes out on one of the branches. They're kind of slumped over a branch. It's a very 
literal dark figure. You kind of assume a shroud is covering them. They're holding on to a very look intricate looking staff, which is decorated in well, the most largest ornament that you can make out is like a deer skull. And you assume a handful of other like uh, similar looking ornaments. And they're pretty high up on the tree, actually. And you do notice that they are looking down at the rest of your party. <clears throat> um. Okay. Uh, I'm going to message down to Kandor that there is somebody up in the treetops. Okay. Kandor, you very easily get this message, I think. It's yeah. within 120 feet, so... And I believe that I can reply? Yes. 25 yes. words or less. Um, what do they look like? What do they look like? <laughs> <laughs> um, I can give you the same description I gave you before, or if you want to take a turn to investigate, you can get a better look. They may also have noticed you, though, if you do so. You do get the idea that they don't really... They aren't paying attention to you if they have noticed you, at the very least. Uh, I'm just going to quickly message down to Kandor. Uh, looks like it could be Magic User. They have a staff. They have a staff, right? Yeah, they do have they have a, a very intricate looking staff and the body is a little hard to make out. You just can tell that it's a very dark shrouded individual. Okay. Uh yeah. Looks like a maybe a magic user. Has a staff. Shadowy looking. Not sure. Uh maybe get back down here so that we can get the whole party together and hate for you to get shot down and you to fall on me. <laughs> do you uh, begin like flying down or do you <laughs> stay up there <laughs> just to spike Kandor and fall on him uh, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna land, land on, on a nearby, nearby tree, branch, tree branch and I'm, and I'm going, going to message the figure ooh ballsy <laughs> I like that okay I see you <laughs> Alright, what do you tell it? Um Hello, we need, we need help. help. We're, not We're not hostile. hostile. We're not really We're sure where we are. The figure begins to stand on the branch that it's on, and you realize that even from like how high up it is, you can tell that this thing is tall as it stops hunching over. Okay. okay. And the th more importantly, you can't make out hardly any recognizable, like, humanoid-esque features. This looks like... The best example to give is that it's, like, as tall and almost as burly-looking as a Goliath, but it's just covered in darkness, and its head... Similar to its staff, looks like that of a skull of an animal. It stands up as you send that message, and it literally begins falling backward and falling out of the tree. Uh. uh oops, sorry. <laughs> I, I am going, going to go try, try to catch it. Okay. <laughs> As you rush forward and attempt to catch on to this being, uh, you flew back down to the rest of the group or just flew down to the ground closer to the forest? Me? Yes. I was not on the ground at all. I was still in the treetop. Okay. Make a... I want to say athletics check. Both see if you can catch up to this thing in time and grab it. Uh, both athletics? 
Just one athletics. But yeah, yeah, athletics. There you go. That'll be good. You rush down and start beating your wings as quickly as you can to try and grab onto this being. And just as you're about to reach its hand, it very calmly and very slowly just puts it up as if to say, don't. And with that, it you just hear like a large like bang of a body hitting ground. Uh, you slow yourself down, and I, you can either be still hovering on the ground or uh, be on the ground now, but you see this creature sort of, like, adjust its body and sort of, like, ooze back into its standing position as it just now looks at you. Okay. Do I know what this is? Roll a history check with disadvantage. <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> you assume this is some kind of demon or devil or something of its kin. It's very clearly not hostile, otherwise it probably would have attacked you earlier, but besides a very educated guess, you've never seen anything like this or heard of it. Okay. I'm just literally going to say to it, are you hurt at all? Can I see this? Uh, yeah, I think, Kandor, you probably were, were, like, watching all of this ever since, uh, Solo, like, started messaging you. Okay. Uh, it just shakes its head calmly. And it begins walking down to the, to where Kandor is sitting. Okay, I'm going to follow behind it uh like mm -hmm. i'm going to stop flying and just start walking behind it uh and i'm going to message candor and say it doesn't seem hostile please let the others know <laughs> i just reply back uh two of the others left and grandolf is uh i don't know talking to himself probably i, I don't pay attention <laughs> He's trying to get his snake to throw up. He's just fucking throttling the snake in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> and that is not a euphemism for anything. I was gonna say, is that what they call it? Oh my <laughs> god. Oh, here, yeah. wow, here I am just making cartoon references. Does that even go the place you guys went? <laughs> we have very gutterful minds. Is that the right word? Gutterful? Gutterful. It is now. No. It is now. Yeah. yeah. Listen, the English language is always adapting. Right. Uh, cutting over to Vorton and Bliss. Vorton, you followed Bliss down to the beach. Are you just watching her make sandcastles? Oh, thank yep. God the fucking paladin isn't with us. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 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 Anyway. holy hellfire, <laughs> I, I, I watch her make sand castles and I go to the edge of the water and look boat and see what I can see. Maybe see a boat or something flag down. To flag down. You don't see a boat, but in the far, far distance, you see this series of islands and what and uh, separated like landmarks. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'd. I would. Words. I would rec would I recognize these islands knowing where we are? Roll a history check. Apparently not. Let's see. The nine. Uh, you know they are called the Nalanther Isles, and that is all you know. Okay. <laughs> you ain't you know shit. Sure, you know this. Um. Uh, Bliss and Vorton, are you guys just gonna stay on the beach for now? Yeah, I'll babysit uh, Bliss for for a time being. <laughs> babysit. All right, babysitting. They're making sand castles in the sand. <laughs> I was just gonna say. <laughs> Wait, no, hold up, hold up. I don't want to live in the adult world where I'm not allowed to make sand castles when I'm at the beach. <laughs> Fuck that. We, we just escaped some evil wizard, and her first thought is sand castle. <laughs> Listen, I'm coping with what I just went through. Actually, before it's I forget. It's a for, coping mechanism. Before I forget, um, can I examine my shield and see if I can, like, figure out how magical it is, or like if there's anything special about it beyond making me look like a, my normal body 
again? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna say, yeah. Roll investigation check for this, uh, since you're not, unless you can, unless you like have Arcana checks, maybe. Uh, Arcana. I mean, there's a resident wizard here. There is, but we don't want him where we are right now. He's not near me. We we don't we don't want to like bother Grandall for something so unimportant. So they're both both are kind of investigation or intelligence, and I don't have anything in those. So either way, I'm. Good luck. <laughs> Man, that's one nice shield. Sure is pretty. Yep, it has dragon on it. It's the most pretty thing ever. Uh, by this point, the being has kind of walked up to you, Kandor, and you realize it is staring at that orb. It has not taken its eyes off it. Well, eyes, which, you know, skull, it doesn't have them. Uh, just gonna, like, slowly put it in my bag. With, like, my bag, like, only on one arm next to my side, so it's like, I'm not letting this backpack out of my sight. Right. <laughs> You see, he, it sees you do that, and then it turns to you and points to your bag and then points to the forest. You want me to walk into the woods with my backpack holding it like a baby. It starts to nod, and then when you add the baby <laughs> thing, it kind of tilts its head like, what? I'm like, I literally put the backpack on, like, backwards, so it's like, looks like uh, a little, little baby got, like, carrier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It just points it to you and then the forest again, and this time just nods before you say anything. Uh, okay, well, that's been, it's been fun meeting you. Whatever you your preferred pronouns are, person <laughs> thing. Uh, yeah, and I'm gonna start like walking the other direction. Like, oh bless, I I'm not I'm not okay right now. <laughs> it just stands there watching you. <laughs> so are you, are you going over to Bliss? Yep, I'm going down to the beat. All right. Uh, Grandolf, you see this very, very tall, shrouded skull figure just standing there. Do you think to do anything? Uh. Uh. Hmm. It just, like, fell on the ground and just got up. Yeah, like, like nothing, nothing happened. happened. Exactly. It fell, like, 30 feet from the tree. Can I, like. Arcana check it to be like, what the fuck is happening? Sure. I mean, let's see, maybe this would be something. Yeah. Uh, sort of like with Sola's uh, identification, either you, the most you can tell that it is either something of Fey or demon. It is a magical being, but because of its looks and its overall just odd demeanor yeah you've no clue you know it's not human or any mortal realm uh, or mortal race that you've ever heard of it doesn't seem capable of speech at all it hasn't attempted any speech no uh because i'm by it um i'll put my little book i'm holding away and I'll just go up to it and be like, why are you here? See if it answers me. It points to Kandor. Cool. Uh, roll a insight check. You look a little bit closer at like how it's pointing and you know that it's pointing at Kandor's bag. Oh, and Kandor left? And Kandor went to go get Blitz. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what she has in her bag, so I'm just gonna like run after Candor quickly, I guess. All right. Uh, Sola, you see uh, Grandolf run after Candor with 
both of these guys heading towards the beach, do you do anything? I'm just gonna stand there with the thing. Right now. <laughs> um, you know, it'd be easier for us to help you if you let us know exactly what you needed with the book. Or not with the book, sorry, with the orb. Its hand, which you see is a combination of skeletal and shade, kind of goes up and like starts to sort of like mimic rubbing its chin, which it doesn't have. Uh, it's just like the top half of like a wolf skull is what you're pretty much watching this thing. It kind of does that motion and reaches inside of its sleeve and pulls out something. I'm going to say it's going to pull out... Ah, it's going to pull out a small parchment and hand it to you. Okay, I shall take the parchment. A is lot of the... words? Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> is it very crude drawings? Like, what, is, what are we dealing with? <laughs> I really wish I had thought of that, though. That would be so adorable. Fuck. Um, it is a very faded post, like a poster, like a, almost like a, a job board notice. A lot of the writing down under the, the main title has faded over the time, but you can still tell the very top of it says, A Request by the Far Flung. Ooh. Ha. Q he said it! He said it! <laughs> Is there anything else on this parchment that I can read? Uh, no, all, almost all of the the ink has faded. Uh, a lot of the paper is really crumply and kind of uh, weather torn as well. Okay, uh, I'm going to lift the paper and lift it towards the sun and try to see if I can read through <laughs> that then. Because there should still be somewhat of an impression. Okay. Roll a perception check standard, because that's fucking clever. I didn't even consider that. Okay. It has a list of names, uh, mostly that you would... De just very generic human names, honestly. It, the parchment seems to be a specific job requesting the aid of other adventurers to assist in the finding of one uh, Sally Solon's pet dog, Scruffy. It is literally a job board notice for people to find a lost dog. <laughs> well, <laughs> how useful. Yeah. But at the bottom of the parchment, <laughs> specifically is written a very interesting series of symbols you've never seen before. It's almost like where like a fine print would have gotten written at the bottom right corner of a parchment. Uh, roll investigation check. God damn. All right. You know it is from your times having to decipher different parchments and translations in your times, even even whether it's for school or for your own enjoyment, you know this is a code. <laughs> and above game, you know two rogues who know things like thieves can't and maybe can break that code. Well, well you know one rogue. <laughs> yeah, fair, yeah. Actually, <laughs> I forgot Candor actually has calligraphy. Say I we mean, have hand rogues. That's hand to me. can read all writing, but that's not because he's a rogue. <laughs> he's just a special boy who tries hard. Yep. He is a try hard. Shut up. <laughs> not out there making the best sandcastle ever. Try hard, my ass. <sighs> I'm not a try hard, I'm just naturally awesome, thank you. Yeah. Awesome. Take, take off the gloves. Take off okay. the gloves and let's see how talented you are. Fucking fight me. <laughs> oh, <God>. oh, right. 
Hey, for all you know, she isn't wearing the clothes because they become invisible. Uh huh. Oh, he knows. Just pretend knows to take them off. Yeah. <laughs> roll, roll a sleight of hand to fake taking your clothes off. Pretty sure if she takes them off, they would become visible. So. Oh yeah, but like, if anyone else wanted to, like, she could fucking fake that, and make it. Just, just kick over the sandcastle and make her rebuild it. That's cool. rude. That, that is just very. That's bullying. Look, this is not Kick the 1940s. Face. Come up with a better means of bullying, please. Kick the sense. Kick You're her. You're talking to the paladin. <laughs> kick her. Kick her. <laughs> please don't kick me. Just, just punt into Blitz the into castle. the ocean. Oh god. Fill the sandcastle now. Hopefully she can swim. <laughs> Why are you being so mean to me? <laughs> Kandor, you eventually uh, make your way over to Bliss, who I'm going to, in my head canon, believe that Bliss has already, like, created a second castle and is, like, No, no, little, like... it's got, like, a town and, like... Oh, yes. So it's basically, like, Toph making bossing say in the sand. I oh, my God, yes. She's never that, seen actually. Avatar. You know what? That's her own fault. She's missing out because that's yep. exactly what I'm imagining right now. Yes. I, I forgot about that scene. Thank you for reminding me. I yes. love the Beach Day episode. Yes. Um, uh, yep, Kendo, you were headed over to Bliss. Okay, so uh, I know that uh, weird stuff's been happening all day. <laughs> And I just kind of like thumb over my shoulder while I'm like cradling my bag to me with my cat riding on one shoulder and my raven on the other. And I'm just like, some weird shit's going down back there. Even weirder shit. What else is new? Uh, a shadowy creature with a skull for a head pointing at my backpack where I had, where I'm stored the orb and telling me to go into the forest. That's what's uh. new. Sounds like some ambushy shit. Vorton, I'm gonna say for simplicity's sake, you're close enough to them on the beach where you're hearing this too. You say it's weird like, shit with skulls! <laughs> Vorton, I don't even want to talk to you right now, buddy. Ooh. <laughs> Ow. The paladin's in hot water. I hope not. That means the ocean's boiling. Oh. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> I hate you so much right now. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just like gonna start walking back. I'm like, are you coming? Or are you just gonna play house with, you, with your uh, sand people down there? Bliss is gonna be like, I'm coming, I'm coming. And she's like putting a flag on the top. <laughs> to like finish it off. I'm, I'm going to pick up both of them and take off running towards the creature. No, nope, you did. No, nope, you. Bliss is going to nope. fight. <laughs> they, they, yeah, I am going to fight. <laughs> no, thank you. Kidnapping. <laughs> yeah. No, I can try and shove oh, it can't be kidna You can't be kidnapping if the person knows you. <laughs> you can. That is. <laughs> that is wait, one of the wait, most wait, wait. Of kidnapping. This is kidnapping? Yeah, it is. Meaning. They're kids, meaning I was babysitting. Oh, God. No! <laughs> you guys make your way back over uh, to the shadowy figure as it just continues to follow you, Kandor. It's just, like, watching you. I, uh, as soon as they get within the vicinity, I'm going to hand... Uh, actually, I'm going to look at them and just go, Hey, which of you two can actually read, like, codes and stuff. I'm just gonna, like, look at Bliss. Bliss looks back at Kandor. <laughs> well, technically Aww. both of us, but, uh, and she just kind of points to him. <laughs> the not <laughs> rogue. I, I am going to <laughs> nod and then hand it to Kandor, and then just go, it's okay, I think you'd wreck it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Bliss just like slowly turns her head to look at this friggin' winged child and just death glares you. <laughs> it's a fair point though. <laughs> That's why she's glaring at you. <laughs> <laughs> I am offended, but only because this statement is true. <laughs> 
Um, uh, as your hand to the parchment can door, um... Okay, good. I was gonna say, um, I actually am not familiar <laughs> with what you can do. It's my invocation. I can read everything. <laughs> okay. It uh, you watch as like the symbols sort of like start to sh take shape and form, like it like in your mind's eyes. You f figure out what's being said. You do notice it actually takes a little bit longer this time. Uh, leaning you to re recognize this is probably a, a made-up code based on other code. Uh, as you are able to <laughs> decipher what is said, uh, it you're able to tell it says, complete this to gain your first steps into our ranks. Interesting. I'm writing it down, okay. I can't react until I write it down. That's fine. <laughs> I... That's the thing, I will always prefer you guys write things down, because while I keep a lot of notes, sometimes I literally have to pull things out of my ass. It's to find a lost dog, right? Yes, the overall job is to find a lost dog. Though, because the parchment is so old, you, this dog is either found or dead. Uh, nice. I'm just gonna, like, squint at it, and I'm not gonna tell anybody what it says yet. Because, I don't know, I just don't feel like it. And I'm just like... <laughs> Just okay. out of curiosity, um, Mr. Demon person, are you by chance the lost dog? I can't help but notice you are wearing a dog head. <laughs> it, it, it actually sort of like almost like, it kind of like motions to grab at its belly as it sort of like silently laughs as you just hear the shaking of the different like ornaments and uh, skull and bones on its uh, cane. It looks like it's laughing at that, but then like kind of waves its hand and shakes its head at you. Like it's very amused by that question. Dang it, it was worth a try though, you have to admit. <laughs> it kind of shrugs like, yeah. Uh, I want to look on the back side of this parchment and like, um, hang on, let me, let me look at my inventory real quick. See sure. if I have a thing. Um, he's thinking about what he can do. Um, okay. Yeah. I am going to pull out a piece of parchment and I'm going to put ink on the back of this and then I'm going to just like press it into a piece of parchment to see if I can get any like other imprints out of the worn out poster uh can you repeat what you said no yes <laughs> <laughs> well you guys are you guys are you did, bitch. <laughs> um i said he wants to like basically like you know how whenever you write something and erase it you can put like use pencil and then Right oh yeah, just gonna, like scribble on it to like get yeah. the, the better. He's gonna try to do that without scribbling on it. He's gonna just try to kinda like press down with his arm, but he's using ink and parchment on like the back side. Alright. Um might not work, but you know. Go ahead and make either go ahead and either roll your calligraphers uh tools or just roll a sleight of hand. Oh, I don't have calligraphers cal 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 calligraphy tools. I know that's so. such a hard word to say. I have to like catch myself. So, sleight of hand. That was a good okay. one. Uh, there doesn't... As you, like, pull this off, you get sort of, like, the words that were on the front of the, the par parchment, but backwards. You don't see any other secret messages or anything on this paper. Okay, I'm gonna look at Sola's, like, did you get this from demon person over here? Yes. <laughs> it waves. <laughs> Do you have more of these? It looks very somber as it shakes its head. Are you one of the far flung? It kind of pauses at that and almost like looks up towards the forest. 
and clenches its uh, its hand on its staff and slowly nods. It's like that moment you just like look away, eyes wide, and you're just like, what the fuck are we getting into? Is this a paid job? <laughs> I love you guys. So we <laughs> It shakes its head no. Mm. It just points at uh, it just points towards the top of the parchment and then points to you, Sola. And you guys can roll an insight check if you want. Sure, I'll do it. Uh, both of us or one of us? All, any, whoever. Uh, not me. Things are happening. <laughs> Let me click it. Let me click it. Yeah. Damn it. Uh, Grandolf, you've been just sort of like paying attention silently this whole time. With your grand unbridled wisdom, <laughs> you've been able to just get the idea that it's saying that all that really mattered was letting Sola know that about the far flung. And Bliss and Candor, you both sort of pick up on that with your context clues. But specifically, just Sola. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, because Sola, you were the one who asked him earlier um, what the deal was. Or am I, is my brain shutting off? Was it Sola or Candor who got that parchment first? That's oh. been me the entire time. Okay. <laughs> I, was, I was like, wait, shit, did I fuck that up? No, Sola got a... Uh, Sola was given the parchment, and then he pointed out that it, it the parchment was far flung. That's what he's wanting to, you guys okay. to pay attention to. And then uh. he parts, points to the far flung title... And he points to your bag, Candor. Don't throw it. <laughs> <laughs> We've been flung far enough. Can't, literally, I just picture Bliss just grabbing that and yeeting it. Yeeting it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> just to spite everyone. I just <sighs> want to make sure. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess we're going into the forest. Are you going to be escorting us? It nods. <laughs> you are our own personal escort. Can't even talk to him, really. It's like playing trades. <laughs> uh, do you say that in character with the charades? <laughs> <laughs> Quietly to myself, but yes, I'm just kind of like, yeah, it's like playing charades. Ugh. Okay, I'm going to hold off on this then. I mean, if he chooses to hear me, that's... Thing. Okay, cool. Um, if you all are willing to walk, he begins leading the way into the forest. I'm a fly. I'm gonna be scouting basically as we're moving through the forest. Okay. I'm probably gonna be about fifty-ish feet up. You guys begin taking your trek through the forest on the coast of the bottom end of Faerun. Uh, it's actually a fairly long walk that takes you pretty much the rest of the day. You guys are able to make it about here when you need to set up camp as the night begins to fall. No, not night time. That's the worst time. That's when the zombies come out. Oh, yeah, the zombies. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to assume, uh, since I've never had to have you guys worry about this, so you should still have a lot of your starting gear, that you guys have rations and some uh, sleep rolls and whatnot that you need mm. to set up a small camp. Easy. You know, I don't have any rations because I have a scholar's pack, so... Oh, uh, you know, we wouldn't have packed for that either. I don't have rations because I don't need to eat, so. <laughs> Yay! We're going to do something fun then! Have fun with yourself. And or right. sleep. So. Then I'm going to say <laughs> that if you guys. I'm going to say you guys aren't idiots. You recognize that you don't have the means to do too much uh, if you just let night come. So you actually get about here before you notice that um, early evening is about to set. 
and you guys all come to the idea that you probably need to hunt or gather and set up camp. I do have a tinderbox. That is one thing I do have. <laughs> fire but that is, is going to be instantaneous then. That is that is all I have. I also know magic that is fire. Well, technically so do I. We want to be <laughs> fancy about it. But I do have a tinderbox. I could purify water if we need to. <laughs> I mean, we're going to need to drink something, so yes. <laughs> hey, you never know, actually. Um, my question is going to be for this. Who's going to hunt, who's going to gather, and who's going to stay at camp? Uh... You guys can actually discuss that in character, if you like. Well, first of all, I'm going to mention to the demon guy, Hey, we're going to need to set up camp. Uh, do you need to sleep? It shakes his head, but you watch as its hand ro- like kind of raises up, and you hear and feel different parts of the trees and overgrowth around you begin to grow at rapid succession and form one really big hut. Well, that's convenient. Cool. <laughs> I well, say that in character. Yeah. yeah. What lo- spell it- is that? Is it a spell? Uh, go ahead and roll Arcana for that. Oh, you know I'm doing that. Yeah. Now, above game, I don't know all the things <laughs> druids can do, but I know for a fact that they have a spell that lets them just, like, do that to plants. It's just like an overgrowth spell. Wow. Uh, I will say this, Sola, that was impressive. Whether it's druid magic or not, that is interesting that a wave of a hand let him do that in seconds. Okay, so he's quite powerful. Um, Is this area of the forest safe for now for us to sleep? It sort of like motions with one hand all around and then puts a thumb down. Roll an insight check. (laughs) I love it. Nowhere is safe in this forest. <laughs> ah, um, I guess we'll just have to do like rotating sleep schedules then. Um, and then I'll turn to the rest of the party. Does anybody is anybody able to see in the dark? Raises my hand. Yep, Sam. There is my hand as well. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, is who is it? Who's the only one who can't see? Yep, the, the non-elf related person. The non-elf. I mean, <laughs> so I, I get what he's meaning. Like the fucking <laughs> living suit of armor is the only one who can't see in the dark. The the, yep. the, the one that doesn't need to sleep, also or eat. Yeah, come on. <laughs> um. Okay. Um, I'm going to turn to the guy again and say, if you don't mind, um, we'll probably have one of us stay awake, um, with you, I'm assuming, and kind of keeping lookout over the camp in the meantime, just because we're not quite sure what we're dealing with this in this area. Uh, it nods, very understandably. Okay. Um... Uh, I guess I'm gonna go try to find food. I'm gonna, like, lift my hood up and just, like, kind of just go up a little, just a little ways in the trees. I ain't going too far. But I'm gonna try to stealth and find something to either, you know, kill for meat or forage for anything else. (laughs) Sure. Sure. Uh... I am, uh, gonna turn to the druid and I'll ask him um, would you by chance know the direction of any like small wild game in the nearby areas I don't know if that's something you can do Um, preferably away from any big beasties it kind of like motions its hand like sort of implying again it's the like, even if it has the ability to, it seems to really like the serene, sort of just untouched version of this forest. 
do you mind if like we tamper very often? Do you mind if we hunt, or is that? Oh, it puts a thumbs up and like shakes its head like readily, like oh, of course. Okay. Um. Do you need anything? In the meantime. It actually goes over to like a little like log that like I think maybe the overgrowth sort of rolled over for you guys to sit around for a campfire. It sits down, presses its staff into the ground, and pats a seat next to it. <laughs> okay, I'll go sit with it. <laughs> Kandra's not there, but it's like see it's charades time around the campfire. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, Bliss, were you also going to go out hunting, or are you doing something else? Yeah, I'll probably go foraging with Candor. Alright, uh, go ahead and also so roll a stealth check, then. Alright, that's fine. Yeah, you both kind of run off. Um, Grandolf and <laughs> Vortan, what are you guys up to? Well, being a suit of armor, I'm not very stealthy, so hunting's probably out of the question. <laughs> I have people for hunting. I don't need to hunt. <laughs> I will... So, so why say something so outrageous but so true? <laughs> I'm going to take a look around and see if I can find some berries. Yeah, go ahead and roll a nature check with advantage. Ooh. <clears throat> Yeah, you're able to find a handful of like different little like blackberries and blueberries. Nothing too special, uh, and nothing too bountiful. Like enough to give everybody a little bit of some. Oh, that's enough then, because I don't need any. So I'll go and relax with the rest of the fire sitting people, I guess. Um, with all of you sitting there, it kind of like sits there expectingly, looking at all of you. And then sort of, like, jumps a little as if, like, going, oh, oh, my goodness. And then um, actually, like, uh, it takes, like, a its stick and kind of, like, makes a shape in the ground. And the design, it's actually a fairly well drawing. You can figure it out pretty quickly. It's a bunch of people sitting around a campfire clearly telling stories. And then it uh, kind of leans back into its seat and, like, looks at all of you. Uh, Pictionary. <laughs> Well, first, uh, do you know how to write? It nods. What's, what's your name? It uh, looks for like a pen or paper, uh, assuming that you were going to give it one. Uh, would you mind writing in the dirt? I have a bottle of ink and a ink pen. I'll hand it to him. <laughs> okay, that works too. <laughs> All right. And it actually uh, pull, it kind of reaches into its sleeve and pulls out a blank sheet of paper. And it uh, begins to write and then <clears throat> sort of stops. And it just keeps kind of looking at the paper and kind of looking more and more frustrated as it's scratching at its skull. And then it just sort of like solemnly looks up to you guys and begins to hand the ink uh, and the quill back. That's okay. We went through something similar recently. Um, I don't feel ashamed about it or anything. It uh, retracts and holds on to the ink and quill, but kind of like quietly nods like a little more softly. I mean, we did just basically lose a bunch of our memories. It's not a lie. <laughs> <laughs> um, have you heard of uh, Pegath before? Uh, it shakes its head. As a no? Yeah, hmm. it does not know. How old are you? Do you know? It, it takes the quill on paper and it turns and says, Of what year is this century? Oh, God. That's a good question. Of what year is this century? <laughs> I would say uh, the canon year of D&D &D is like in the 
14 and 1500s of its time and since the world semi ended they consider this sort of a revitalization so it's like the new 1300s the new 1300 like so i would say like um 13 uh, 1300 uh new Faerun, so nfr and this will be like a little bit of world building for you guys um all history was very drastically lost save for most of the events that happened in the Faerun's history of 1300s so to make life a little bit easier everyone sort of jet all the governments and the kingdom sort of came together and agreed that this will just be the new 1300s and we're kind of starting over but not all the way over hmm. how do you spell Faerun again uh, F A E R U N. I want to double check. Actually, I don't remember. Yeah. What, mo what month is it, by the way? Ooh, I don't usually pay attention to months because fantasy. I will say it is the equivalent of spring. So, like between April and May. Spring. Spring is good. Seasons are universal. <laughs> yeah, seasons are universal. I've never thought to come up with like a calendar system for my D and D. Yeah, and I might need to now. Well, I mean, it's either. I'd say it's mid spring. Like, okay, it's been spring for a hot while. So it's either the club, the storms, or the melting. Okay. Uh, they have a calendar for Faerun. And now I'm gonna have to research that. I <laughs> awesome. Sorry, I've already I looked that up previously. No, I'm one of those assholes that pays attention. I okay. don't I don't mind that actually. I always I actually like it when someone brings something up and I'm like, cool, another tool for D and D. I prefer this. Okay. Uh, I will reiterate to that to him uh, just kind of what I know uh, basically that it's 1300 new Faerun um, mm -hmm. and kind of I, I would know when they went back from the calendar right? Yeah uh, you like historically it, that happened like not even a hundred years ago because the big events of like all of like the end of the world shut happened more like between the two and three hundred years back. Okay. Yeah, I'll just reiterate that to him. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm just getting over being sick. Um, Poor Bree. Yeah. Uh, it sort of uh nods at this and seems to kind of go into like a thinking pose where it just sort of hunches over, running its uh, bony, shadowy figures on its skull face, trying to c uh, ponder something. And I found the calendar. I'm going to add that to my stuff. Uh, is there any questions or anything else you guys want to say while you're at the campsite? How do you, how do you know about the orb? It pulls out two more pieces of paper as it begins to very carefully write. And it says, the orbs were first discovered by the far flung and we built our organization around it. How many orbs are there? Without instead of instead of it goes to write and then pauses and doesn't want to seem to want to waste the ink, and then just sort of motions to say on like just shrugs. I'm going to assume more than one. Uh, okay. Uh, it does write on the paper. Yours would count for the tenth. Mm -hmm. 
Are the others currently in the possession of the far flung? Enough. Or okay. Where where are we headed in the forest? Are you taking us to another member? It uh, begins writing and says we will continue down until we get between land and water and then we will take a different path. I do not know what happened to my comrade. Hmm. When was the last time you saw them? He begins thinking, trying to think of how far back. <laughs> given the fact that it is... It had to ask you what year it was or what time it was. I mean, he's a creepy old forest man, so who knows, but... Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it begins thinking and just writes before everything fell apart and then sort of readjusts its words before the second spell plague. How far long ago was that? That seems like a long time. It uh, kind of droops its head at, at you saying that and nods. Okay. Uh, sorry. Excuse me. I'm uh, I'm quite young. It's sorry. I meant no offense. Um. <laughs> Grandolf perks up a very old eyebrow. Like excuse. <laughs> I wasn't talking to you. Uh, <laughs> 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 um, do you happen to know how to use our orb? It takes the other back end of it of the paper. It's just like kind of like continuously, like almost endlessly supplying paper for it to write on as it like goes about this. Uh, its handwriting is very clean. It tries not to take up too much space, so it's like on its third paper now, and it's, it writes. Well, it's a druid. It doesn't want to kill the trees. Exactly. I like that logic. <laughs> it writes. Um. We never researched on how to use them. We saw what they could do once and felt it necessary to hide them instead. Hmm. What? I will say it is dangerous to fight against something that you don't know much about. But I do understand where that concern comes from. Hmm. What? Do, do all of us see what he's writing or is it just to... I'm gonna say that like all of you at the campsite are like watching and listening to this and reading it. He he holds it up so everyone can can read it, or he passes it down like a fucking classroom. So are are this are the orbs just capable of teleportation, or do they do other things? Uh, it holds up two fingers and points to you. So I guess it's kind of like to nod at like the second thing. Like they can. What other things can they do? Uh, begins writing. The one time we encountered someone researching this, it opened a gate into the demon realms. <laughs> and he actually underlines the plural of realms and then points to it. Like, really pointing to it, like, don't fucking mess with the orbs! Well, okay. Hmm. Of course, Pegath would have something like that. <laughs> of course. Fucking well, of course. I wouldn't doubt it was frickin' Pegath that did it in the first place. Yeah! Um, so... Actually, that's not even a guarantee. That's curious. Um, where was that? That was Baldur's Gate, right? Yeah, Baldur's Gate is where you saw the aftermath. And potentially where, where you were all originally died from, uh... The... De the the gnolls and the demons just bursting out of nowhere. Okay. 
Um. Hmm. I don't want to keep calling you Mr. Demon Man. Is there something you'd rather us call you? Even if you don't remember your name. It kind of ponders this one and seems to laugh at, at something and then it points to its dark sort of body and then to its staff. Now you're getting into into the charades. Dark stick. <laughs> no, dark <laughs> stick. It, it shakes its head. It, it points up two fingers as in to say two words. First word points to itself. Man. <laughs> You are You're not even there! <laughs> um, 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 ghost. Shake that is head. not two words! Well, I really we're doing first you're word. just guessing the first word. You're just guessing the first Have word. Have you not played trades before? <laughs> I really want to say fetch, but I know that's not it. I'm really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that's actually cuter than what I was going with. Mine's a really dumb D&D &D reference that I just think would be funny as shit. He's a wolf, dude, <laughs> and he's got a stick. I don't know. I'll I'll, I'll say this: you can <laughs> always you can always suggest it if you don't want to play charades. I think we want to guess what you want. I want to guess what you want. Match. That's so mean. <laughs> it, it continues to point at its black mass. Black. black. And it uh, it, touch, it touches like the tip of its skull. And then no, it black put, skull. <laughs> and then now it face bombs. <laughs> Blackhead. No, black no. face. <laughs> black staff. Black tree. Black trunk. Black stick. Wait, wait, when you say black staff, it like stops you and like set like points to you uh, like drastically, like that, that, that. Oh, hello, black, black staff. staff. I'm Vorton. It, it it nods at you and sort of gives like a uh, sort of slight okay. bow. Yeah, yeah, I'm not original. <laughs> Fantastic. I have a question. When I have my shield and I'm in dragonborn form, if I were to take off my head, would it be my dragonborn head or would it turn into like this helmet? You can find out in game. I'm not I, telling you above game yet. I take off my head. <laughs> uh, it Blackstaff actually just almost like collapses off of its log <laughs> as it sees you do that. And then what ha what you see is just your armored helm. Oh, okay. So you, you're a dragonborn body with no head. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, it's normal. Can you see your own hel helmet if you're holding it up? It's your uh, eyes. It, it, his, yeah, exactly. His <laughs> eyes, where he sees is where his eyes go. He can't, like, see his own helmet. <laughs> okay. I'm going to uh, just basically start Filling this fellow in, Blackstaff in on uh... everything that's happened to you guys Agus. at this point. Yeah. yeah, I was just trying to think of like a nickname I could call him. Blacky. No. I don't want to call him Blacky. Blacky is not a good nickname. <laughs> oh that sounds racist. No. Staffy. <laughs> Staffy. <laughs> <laughs> all, all I'm thinking is like Shadow Man, but to the tune of Rocket Man. Oh, yay! <laughs> I like that. I don't know what he's doing. Anyways, oh. I'm just going to basic, basically go over um, the fact that like Baldur's Gate fell. Yanagu? Is that. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Okay. No, cool. that, that, honestly, that's the closest I've ever been able to pronounce it, and a lot of other D and D YouTubers pronounce it the same way. Okay. Uh, that he basically um, appeared and overtook it. Um, we had all originally died and were in hell, um, and got out. I double died. <laughs> you yeah, did. You did. <laughs> <laughs> Now we know what happens if you double die. <laughs> you become armor. Um, and yeah, just basically, um, 
without mentioning the fact that we've stolen anything. Um, just gonna go over the basics of, like, yeah, Pegath got us to do a task, we returned, and then basically we saw visions, he freaked out, and we killed him as he tried to hey, kill us. Hey, 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 I killed him. <laughs> we killed him. Uh, <laughs> as a, you know... As a unit. As, as, a, as a team that we are. Um. <laughs> I shake my head in my hands, like holding it, just shake it. Like, like... <laughs> <laughs> Just disappointingly shake your Edward, your fucking Edward Elric head. Yep. Alphonse Elric. Al, Al, Al Alphonse, yeah. Wow. Oh God. Edward Elric. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just gonna fill him in on that shit. Uh, as you say all this, it became it begins to take in all that information and just kind of like nodding occasionally, and other times just kind of like silently looking. It's a skull head. You have no idea what it's feeling, but it's, it's definitely taking in all of the information. And uh, as it you finish your explanation, it begins uh, pondering again, and then looks out to the forest. Um, you can roll an insight check on that if you want again. Insight. No. <laughs> huh. Anybody else? I guess he got bored of the conversation. Is just staring off into space. <laughs> I don't know, man. He's got a wolf head on. It's hard to tell. Oh, great. Uh, nice. <laughs> Vorton and Grandolf. Um, you get the idea that maybe he's looking out, like, kind of worriedly just towards where Kandor and Bliss ran off to. And I think we're going to go ahead and cut over to them as they're hunting. I feel like it's uh, not going so well already. Uh, I want you both to go ahead and make a nature check. Uh, you can either both roll, or one of you can roll with advantage since the other one's helping. Hmm. Hmm. Well, maybe we should both roll. Sure. So nature, you said? Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. <laughs> These things happen. As you guys uh, start sort of like trying to prowl around and find a hunt, uh, Kandor, you sort of like lead the initial way, and you you swear you hear uh, a small like rabbit or some kind of like small uh, creature that you can kind of uh, easily jump on. And when you look over and sort of like pull through some brushes. It's just like a tree scraping against a rock. <laughs> like a little tiny tree. <sighs> and then uh, from there, Bliss, you take uh, lead. And you actually do find uh, a fairly plump uh, rabbit sort of just hopping around, kind of sticking to some of the underbrush. But you guys, like the rabbit, are very stealthy, so you have a pretty easy time of keeping an eye on it. I wanna. Hmm. Let me see something real quick. I'm just gonna like, if Bliss points this rabbit out to me, I'm just like, do you think if we follow it, we'll find more? <laughs> oh my god! I mean, one rabbit isn't enough to feed like six people, okay, or four people. I mean, how many of us eat? <laughs> rabbits. Rabbits live in packs, right? <laughs> something like that. Why are you sending them? <laughs> Both of us are city kids. Like, yeah. why? Well, the we don't know that about no, you. No, I don't know. I I love that you're saying why, but you two volunteered. As we're like stealthy. As a side note, can I pull out like one of my ten days rations and yes, eat it? Well, I'm not <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> cool thing. Well, great yeah, for you. Are you just only feeding yourself, and you see Grandolf like, what the fuck? <laughs> Is he gonna ask me? Okay. If not, then no. 
if Grandalf can't conjure his own food, how good of a wizard is he really? Exactly. Wow. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> all fucking knowing and shit. Yeah. I mean, there is a what spell, the, it's called Good Mary. <laughs> what the fuck's the point what? of magic? Yeah. There's a third degree spell that can conjure food. Uh, there, yeah, as someone was saying before, there's a really low level spell called Good Berry where you just literally yeah. eat a berry and you're full. It's a first it's a really spell. damn good berry. And we have a good berry plant. It's our... a druid. Yeah, well, I don't druid have access to that spell, though. So, yeah. I don't have access to that. Nope. So, uh, yeah, I do gonna, say... I'm, I'm gonna ask Solia for some food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Yeah, can I, can, can I have some? Please? <laughs> I suppose, and I'll like <laughs> hand one of the ones that I've like half started eating already. <laughs> yeah, it's gross. <laughs> it's like backwash, but with food. You guys share your food, and I'll say that Grandolf, you're good for the night. Uh, Luna and Candor, cutting back over to you guys. Are you just gonna follow this rabbit back to its burrow like monsters? <laughs> no. I. Uh, Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we have to eat. All right. Uh, go ahead and roll another stealth check. Eighteen. That'll that'll do. Uh, you guys let the the night begin to come as you begin uh, following the rabbit back to its burrow, and sure enough, there is. To keep this less traumatizing, there's just two adult rabbits. There's uh, two adult rabbits and some little babies, and we're gonna eat them all. It's a it's a, hey, it's, a it's a family affair. They brought their grandparents <laughs> over, <laughs> and they're three hundred kids. The it's little Timmy's feather. birthday, and they're throwing a party. It can't be Thanksgiving. It's May. Who has Thanksgiving in May, Basil? Hey, I mean, hey, Basil. Hey, hey, hold on. Y'all have, like, Thanksgiving way earlier because you're Canadian. Don't give me that bullshit. <laughs> One month. One month. <laughs> Oh wow. Funny how that changes from one week to one month in, like, the literal matter of a breath. What do you mean? Because uh, someone else was saying one week. It's not a... Who, who said a week? I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I love this group. Um, um, there is just no one there. two adult rabbits because I want to actually go to sleep tonight. Hey, I mean, maybe my cat's hungry and it wants to catch a rabbit. Your cat is made of magic. You should. No. Doesn't mean she doesn't like to eat. God. That's fair. That's very insensitive uh, of me. God, it's so rude. Um, uh, yeah, I'll guys, just so... uh, prepare a crossbow bolt and aim at one of them. <laughs> I'll get the one on the right, you get the one on the left. So I want to just um, no. hellish rebuke them? <laughs> you can't. They have to attack you to hellish for you to Can hellish I... rebuke them. But... It's, it's a Listen, if you want to have a Monty Python battle with the <laughs> rabbits, like, let's, we can, be my guest, let's go. I was just gonna light them all on fire. Because then we don't even have to cook them. Oh. Well, they have fur, and that's gonna smell god awful. Um. We have to skin them. I mean, I guess. I mean, I guess. <laughs> So can I use if I were to use hideous laughter on the rabbits? <laughs> post that to, up. Yeah, I, actually, I think you that. need I think you need to you can only use that on a being that speaks your language. Creature of my choice that I can see within range. A creature with an intelligence score of four or less isn't affected. Yeah, rabbits Badness. are yeah. <laughs> rabbits are kinda dumb. Don't you literally have a trap spell? She has yeah, but I up. have to set it up. Well, do that! You have time! <laughs> oh I'm literally... My God. I'm just gonna, like, fire at the rabbit Carrot while she's, it. you know, deciding what... You guys are taking so long that they're about ready to go into their burrow and do rabbit things. 
Oh god, let's not talk about <laughs> babies. I just looked it up. Rabbits have an intelligence of two, and they're a minus four modifier. Oh. Wow. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Jesus. But, yeah, oh, I'm man, sorry. I've never been so called out in my life. Well, are you? Oh, how are you gonna attack the rabbits? This I don't. Have, I don't have like a. Shot. I don't I have like a bow or anything, so. All right. You have a dagger you can throw. Sure, I will throw a dagger. All right, it's with advantage because you're snicking. Oh. There okay. we go. Very easily, uh, almost with like complete synchronization, the arrow flies from your crossbow as Bliss just sort of underhand slides the dagger forward. The arrow hits first, and before the other rabbit even has a chance to react, the dagger hits its mark, and you both have a easy hit and hunt. Cool. Well, just let's head home. It. Yeah, head back, and it's just like, you know, they probably have kids in there, but you know what? They'll, Not they'll, our problem. They'll, they'll deal with it. You know, we, we turned out okay without A little, a little trauma <laughs> is good for children. It's fine. Just, I'm go I, out of just out of spite. I'm gonna build like this fucking lone samurai. I'm gonna bring the samurai, samurai to MNT to fucking oh fuck you guys. I am getting revenge for my family. <laughs> Killed you our guys... parents at our doorstep. <laughs> I was in the campaign once where we all got fucked up by a single squirrel. So, I mean, my my character, you know, his mom was killed in his arms. It's fine. This is fine. Oh my god. It's true. What's empathy? What's empathy? This this rabbit's fine. He'll deal with it. None of us are guys... rangers. None of us have empathy for animals. <laughs> I have empathy for my cat. Thank you. It's the only animal that deserves my empathy. It's a pet. Yeah, exactly. It's still an animal. You have emotional attachment to it, though. You don't have it to the rabbits. Apparently I do. <laughs> <laughs> you guys begin walking the back. Rabbits. Uh... I mean, I mean, they were going to, you know, take care of that themselves, but, you know, you kind of ruined that for them. I didn't do shit. You guys begin walking back to the campsite, kind of leading back to the trail. Do you guys just kind of stroll, or do you try to stick to the shadows? The uh, shadows, obviously. All right, roll stealth check. Hang on. Gotta keep opening the machine. How dare you. You were just not very sneaky today. Yeah. Neither am I. You're <laughs> Yep. I have a uh, rabbit e Even though you guys made really clean kills, uh, as you said before, you're city folk. You're kind of <laughs> like not 100% okay with like dripping bloody bodies, even if they're just rabbits. So you're, you're not really thinking as you're just kind of like leading a trail of rabbit blood. It's fine. You think it's fine. Uh, do you guys talk about or do anything along your trip back to the campsite? Um, I kind of like shift my weight a little bit awkwardly as we're walking and so uh i saw some things the other day yeah, today yesterday i don't know when it happened it's been god it's been awful Ugh. let's just like side eyes him and goes so now you're gonna tell me it's, do i have to tell you when i'm still freaking out about something can i not have time to di digest the information god i mean no <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, that's okay. I see how you're gonna be. I I guess I don't have to tell you then. Huh? Well, fine. Be that way. <laughs> You'll tell me eventually. No, no. Now I won't. I'll keep it to myself forever. Okay. Do that. I dare yeah. you. Fuck you. Yeah. Fuck you too. I'm not sharing my rabbit with you. Well, I have my own rabbit, and I, like, hold it up by its ears and, like, jiggle it. <laughs> it's kind of, it's, it's head is kind of, like, dangling very loosely to, like, where you duck the knife, and you just got splatter blood all over the place as you forcibly go, There's my rabbit! <laughs> just walk back in silence. You guys eventually... You guys eventually... You guys eventually make your way back over to the campsite and meet up with everybody else. Now, when we get there, are the two of them eating their rations? I want to believe that they are. 
Okay, and I'm just gonna, like, glare. And I'm just like, I'm not sharing my rabbit with you either. Fuck you. <laughs> Have rations. You didn't ask. You I assumed, just ran off. I assumed. I was like, oh, I need to go hunting. Maybe they'll be like, oh, well, I have rations. Well, I don't need to. You know what they say I'm just about flipping you assuming. Off. I'm flipping you off. I'm going to go skin this rabbit. I know you can't see it because the rabbit's blocking it, but I'm flipping you off. Yeah. <laughs> you missed it. I was like, in person, flipping off the screen. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's fine. Uh <laughs> You guys uh, sit together. Um, I'm a little interested to see if Kandor and Bliss can, like, fix their own food with the rabbit, but we can also <laughs> skip that. If oh, no, no. No, no, no. No, <laughs> no this will be good. Yeah. I want to watch. I'm going to say, <laughs> are either of you proficient in culinary and skills? Uh, Is no. that a skill? I, I do yeah. not have Yes, you, you can actually proficiency. learn how to cook. You can actually Bliss learn how to cook. Bliss is good at... Eating food? <laughs> <laughs> Bliss is the kind of person that makes the food disappear. Yeah, she doesn't yeah. make the food. She just yeah. eats the food. That, that's not this character. I have other characters that can cook. All right, I'm going to say uh, if you guys can go ahead and roll an, just a blank intelligence check. Seven. Okay. Five. <laughs> Your rabbits wow. are edible. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's about all I can give you there. Good There's job, like guys. still bits of fur attached and like... Yeah. You, you kind of like spit up the fur like whenever you do find it and eventually just kind of go... <laughs> it's fine. Did you cook it? Like you fully cooked it, right? I would assume we cooked uh, it. Yeah. How? How eat raw rabbit? You have a campfire. Obviously, we're cooking it over the campfire. With what? It's mine's on a fucking crossbow. I can just. You're hold using it on the your fire. crossbow? <laughs> crossbow <laughs> bow. Like a fucking God. s'more? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. It's a s'more now. I'm gonna just like stick mine on a on a stick. You have to sharpen a stick. Like a normal bird. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Jesus. I'm just gonna lean over to Blackstaff and just go, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it, it actually sort of like waves off the, the concern and actually uh, kind of like its body jiggles as if it's like laughing again. It seems very happy to have company. <laughs> Oh, you know what? I can flavor up this food with prestidigitation. It's gonna taste uh, better. That, I can clean it the, and flavor it. This is the best yeah. goddamn <laughs> rabbit. You are such a good cook. Oh my god, it's so oh good. My, that's a good idea. <laughs> you just see him casting magic. That actually that. is a really good... Uh, you know what? Bliss is, like, is... Bliss is like a third of the way through a rabbit and she sees Kandor use <laughs> prestidigitation on his to make his taste better and she looks down at this sad poorly cooked rabbit and goes I can do that too <laughs> and so she does like the fucking Pokemon commercial from years ago I can do that Fortune, if you wanted to uh, torment them you could purify their food and drink it would just render all of their spices null and void would it not that's Brood. No, don't white people their <laughs> rabbit. They did work so hard on it. Did they? I yeah. Mean, it yeah. Cost a, it cost them a whole <laughs> chance. It cost them a full action. Come on. Yeah. God. Uh, hmm. Vorton uses purify food and drink. Oh no. Uh, as soon as I taste it and taste that it's not flavored up, I'm gonna like glare. And I'm just gonna like walk away from the fire and reflavor up my rabbit and eat it. I just wanted to be sure you weren't eating poisoned food. I'm sorry. I don't trust you. <laughs> <laughs> Even if they prepared it wrong now, they won't get sick. Bliss. There you go. 
freaking flips Vorton off with one hand, and then summons Mage Hand so she can flip him off again because her <laughs> other hand is busy. I, I'm, I'm gonna say, because no one else could see Mage Hand, instead, like, you use Mage Hand to, like, feed yourself your rabbit while both of your hands are flipping him off. Yes, that's, that's that works more, better. That's yeah. definitely more her style, considering her icon. That's extremely yeah. <laughs> He refused and perished. Oh, literally, that's what you're doing. That's great. <laughs> that, is, that is extremely impressive. You predicted the future of the campaign weeks in advance. Yeah. That's just who she is, you know? Yeah. Double well, birds all, all the way to the moon. You guys sit and you can continue to talk or have a moment. Um, I would say... If there is silence at one point, your your new uh, escort is going to do something. But I want to see if you guys want to interact with each other anymore. I'm yeah. going to first fill in uh, Kandor and um, Bliss just on our conversation thus far. Um, and kind of give them the lowdown on what I've talked to with uh, Blackstaff. And yeah, just so that they're like caught up. I'm just gonna look at Blackstaff, and I'm like, Shadow Man, got it. Oh, cool. Don't eat my beard. Oh, that's racist. <laughs> Is it? I... He I'm called himself him Blackstaff. Go, I think. I'm gonna <laughs> say, out of everyone in the group, I think Grandolf actually would know this. Grandolf, make a history check with advantage. Ooh. Ooh. Advantage. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. With advantage? Oh, my God. God. You are the worst at hearing it. Wow, good job. <laughs> uh, Grandolf, laugh, though? being a man of the magic in education, you know that Blackstaff is actually a historical name, and it's actually a title given to those uh, who have immense magical power in Waterdeep. You, you get the idea that it's, it's especially since he was kind of laughing about it earlier, it's more of a joke him calling himself Blackstaff. Okay, so it's a historical name in Waterdeep for, like, power. Like, people. Archmage number one best magic user ever. Okay. So he thinks he's better than he actually is, or he actually is that? <laughs> Making a joke. <laughs> he, he, yeah. he, he uses a joke. Like he yeah, no, no. Funny. Yeah. What a guy. I just keep that to myself, though. Fuck these people. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. All right. Uh, after you guys uh, let it all uh, kind of share information, is there anything anyone else wants to do? No. Okay. Uh, let, me, let me go ahead and double check with everyone. How much longer are you guys wanting to go on for tonight? Why are we going to combat? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe! <laughs> I don't know! Uh, I mean, I'm good to go longer. Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine bit. for a little longer, yeah. Alright, we'll yeah. go We'll go for like another hour and then we'll wrap it up. I don't have a life. Me neither. I have a life. <laughs> you do have a I, job, though. I, yeah, I, I know I go to bed early anyway. I run four D and D campaigns and didn't know there was a calendar system. God help me! <laughs> okay, Are you sure that you want to stay up another hour? <laughs> oh no, I, I'm actually very awake. I like actually honestly, now that Sola gave me that, I'm like, fuck. I need to do a lot more research on Faerun now. I'm not going to do it tonight. <laughs> oh. Um, if there's nothing else you guys want to do, uh, he does sort of like tap his uh his staff and seems to pull something out of his uh his cloak and kind of motions to the book and i'm gonna say for simplicity's sake since uh you guys have been rolling really high on your inside checks he would really like it if you guys either read the story in the book or if he like somehow told the story i want to see him he going tell to tell the story, story. You i want to see him tell it through charades magic to make tiny little wooden figures that acted out it's still charades but it's puppet it's a puppet theater Look at the puppetry yeah 
uh, if everyone wants that, he actually does, as you say, he kind of like makes little like tiny wooden figures, like just little stick people, and gives them a couple of uh, interesting looking things. Uh, he gives one uh, one figurine little horns and paints them blue and gives him a sword that I would say anyone can roll a history check on. By the way, everything is made out of wood. Like, if that wasn't obvious, I'm making this... He doesn't have a tiny little sword. <laughs> God damn, guys. Wow. <laughs> this yeah. is a very Art. iconic sword. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, the sword itself is just a little stick, but you get the idea it's supposed to look like a sword from the from the east. So it is a very clearly like, like a, a katana kind of weapon. He then builds one little figurine and takes, like, a little red leaf to have, like, red lawn hair and give this little thing, like, a little loot. A little, like, tiny, like, sticks together with little strings. He makes one figurine much taller than the rest of the group, and he has a very large uh, axe. Uh, one person, he actually takes a little bit of his little shroudy cloth and puts it on another really big of the fixed stick figures and one he gives another little cloth and a tiny and like a, a little like wizard's hat and he kind of casts something towards the fire and picks up the figurines and tosses them in the fire the fire turns the bright sort of sapphire blue as you see the silhouettes of these figurines, now far more detailed, sort of dancing above the flames. And he begins uh, to wave his hands and kind of move them in certain means to tell this story. And I'm going to say with that history check, I think it's just a really fucking good history check. Um, you guys... Don't take long to recognize who he's telling the story about. It is a group of adventurers from long, long before the Calamity, the Second Spell Plague. Uh, it is a group known to Faerun as Der Adligastrom, which is translated from Dragonborn to the Noble Tide. You see a Tiefling, a Furbolg Druid, a Goliath, with that war axe, a human wizard, a uh, bard, couldn't think of the word, a bard, female bard with uh, red shoulder length hair. And you see these guys in different fights. You see everyone save for the bard fighting off what looks like this very large gr uh, green dragon and the Barbarian Ganas... I said Goliath, let me correct myself. Ganasi. Uh, this uh, barbarian seemed to drop from high above and grow to a mass size and crush the dragon's skull under this very large uh, warhammer. And then the flames kind of jut to a different color, a more pinkish color, as you see uh, different scenes of the wizard courting a young lady, doing research... Uh, spending time with them both on and off whatever job it was that they were doing. Uh, you see them staying together and dealing with a king looking down upon them from a throne. And this wizard standing up with uh, spears and swords drawn at him and him not flinching. And you see him later, older, um, running a very pristine sort of estate as different shadows of people seem to watch him as he lectures. You see the blue tiefling start off as a child running through the streets of water deep in different uh, different docks. He grows into an older tiefling uh, using a eastern sword slicing style great gaining a larger version of his sword that can strike lightning and eventually falling to a great darkness that just envelops him. The barbarian, you see him out to sea, fighting different creatures, monsters, and different pirates, eventually to be swallowed whole by a kraken. 
Can oh, you no. see the... Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> and finally, you see a druid. The druid especially is very interesting to you as they try to court the bard. Uh, the bard then seems to uh, very politely pull away and when they turn, another woman jumps into their arms as they sort of spin out of the scene. The druid seems to have a very checkered past and history of murder as he turns into a dire wolf. And it's a very graphic shadow puppetry. And eventually the druid seems to come back to the group that welcome him back with punches and hugs. And uh, the final two scenes you see is the druid healing the, the sick and the hurt, what seems like during a very large war. And then eventually just walking into an ever-ending forest. And when all of this is done, he finally puts his hands down, looking fairly exhausted, but the way he's like hunched over onto his seat, he seems very pleased with himself. Clap. Yes, we shall clap. Clap, clap, clap. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, he does a very like exhausted that. sort of bow. Oh, I'm sorry for disturbing you. Is that um, related to anything that you have done? He kind of like makes the motion with his hand is like kind of. Uh, picks up the paper and carefully writes his handwriting a little bit sloppier nothing to that extreme I wouldn't exactly go toe to toe with a drat with an elder dragon like they would have there did you know these people I knew one of them the, the tiefling in the story wander and only for a short time. Wander. Does that bring any bells? Uh, you can make a history check. Anyone can, because like th this adventuring group is fairly well known uh, from the history. <laughs> history. There you go. Doo -doo -doo. Grandolf, you are more of a fan of Eastgrim. You know that Wander and the the wizard Eastgrim were they were pretty close, but I mean like wizard. Like of course you're gonna like the wizard more. Yeah. Like half of the adventures Dad like a strong went on wouldn't have worked if Eastgrim, you know, wasn't the brains of the group. <laughs> uh Sola, you know a little bit of Wander. Um he grew up uh basically separated from his family and grew up to be someone who was very much, like in his younger age, very eat the rich, down with the government. But as he got older and became more of a constant fighter and warrior for the people, he focused his attentions more towards the grander uh, fights and dealing with what he could at the time. Uh, Kandor and Bliss, this man was a tiefling with a very generic tiefling backstory, as in a demon, owned his soul and his dad's soul and his mom's soul. And you know what he did? He told the demon to go fuck himself and he kicked his ass after yeah. dying, like really painfully. Yeah. Cool beans. I like him. Yep. Senpai. <laughs> I hate that now. Oh God, <laughs> I hate it. Uh, yeah, so you... you uh, and actually, Vorton, you, uh, because the entire group is named in your language, you're biased. You're stupid biased about the entire group. Yep. What type they of bias? Were, as in, uh, they had like they had the decency to name their na themselves in in a dragonborn language to like say they were they were cool and they were noble. Uh... Yep. <laughs> Uh, he begins writing in the parchment. They were the most... He writes something, scratches it out. Writes something again, scratches it out, and eventually just said, Heroes! They were heroes. 
but they weren't always that way, as anyone ever is. Fair. Very How fair. do you spell their name, by the way? Uh, I will look it up because I, it's literally German. I have to get a hold of my friend so I can get the translation correct. Cool. Yeah, because I'm going to need spelling for that. Yeah, I will get... If I can't get a hold of him, I will get you the closest from my old Discord archives. Okay, sounds good. What was the the uh, translation of their name again? Uh, The Noble Tide. Oh. Uh, I will stay with your history checks. You do know that is a reference of all of them uh. either coming from some sort of, like, coastal background as, like, where their adventures began... Also, they became nobles of a very small town by, like, semantics. So they, <laughs> one of them especially, really liked flaunting that. Uh, and he writes in the paper, If it's because of their ridiculous, but interesting exploits that the far flung was even considered wander actually had a very small starting hand in funding the project before his passing hmm. and now it's not what it once was Do you know how many are left? If I've been in this forest for as long as we believe, I might be the last known person to know of this place. Until today. Hmm. That's not good. Do you have any of the orbs, then? It kind of... In, in a way, kind of, like, leers at you, like, kind of tilts its head at you as you ask that question, a little hesitant that you're asking that. I just want to know, so that there aren't nine of these orbs hanging about in the wilderness that we are we don't know about like if they get into the wrong hands i don't care if you have them i just need to know that they're safe even if the far flung as members have passed or gone the location is still safe it's why i want to lead you all there and then help you get out of the forest Hmm. Do you think that the emergence of Yanagu could have been related to one of these orbs, though? It pauses. And writes, Can I trust you all? Now, above game, <laughs> I am actively asking the characters, do they feel they want to either be bothered with or can be trusted? As in, if you don't think your character would, like, actually say, oh, yeah, you can trust me and mean it, you'll have to make a deception check. <laughs> and I, I, I know what Bliss's answer is. <laughs> I will just straight up uh, nod and then gesture to the rest of the group and then just go, I know I can be trusted with this information. I am unsure about the rest of my comrades, to be honest with you. <laughs> oh uh, boy! Yeah, well, I'm this is just not experiencing. Like... <laughs> I am going to just be like, I mean, 
Why wouldn't you trust me? Seven. Not bad, but. Okay, yeah. that's not bad. That's not bad. Four ton nods. I nod. Okay. He kind of eyes Candor and Bliss for a moment, <laughs> but begins to write. And... Because of a tiefling, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah, he's just racist. Yep, definitely. Shadow well, Man. I wanted to say no to that, but honestly, um, he does kind of, like, he, if you weren't telling him the truth, Sola, above game, he'd actually be giving you a stink eye really bad because you're a fucking growl. <laughs> I'm also part ASMR. I am light purple, thank you. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> wow. Woo! It's called lavender flash. Hey, can, hey, hey, everyone watching at home, can you tell like white people are playing this game? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh. no. Um, yeah, he he kind of gives Candor and Bliss a bit of a look, but he does write, and it's. He definitely pauses and tries to find the right words, but eventually just comes down to the simple, the simplest answer. We're the reason any of the demons are here. Bliss just gasps really loudly. <laughs> <laughs> well, that just is fine. unfortunate. I see. Four tons. Fortun ponders if murder is the answer. Oh no. He's got a he's got a taste for blood now. <laughs> the automatons, the revolution begins. <laughs> automatons unite! <laughs> there stands Fortun alone. <laughs> uh he kinda writes, continues. When these orbs were first found. Years, years ago. We didn't know what they were. Of course, wizards, warlocks, sorcerers, and you know, everyone, even the non-magical, tested the orbs to see what they could do. They were magic-consuming items. They literally used magic and just in a random form, ones we could never figure out how to control. The only relating situation was that doorways would open, portals to other realms, and he pauses and writes, how much do you all understand the concept of the metaphysical world of our realm? I am somewhat familiar of that. Bliss just does a slow blink. <laughs> <laughs> like one eye than the other. No, not that one. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> um, he, he very briefly explains that uh, beyond the material plane, there are multiple different outer planes uh, from the Feywild to the Shadowfell to even further planes beyond that of Elements. Beyond those are completely different realms of existence that mirror this. Oh, that's what Pagath was doing. Lovely. Mm hmm. And this is Candor thinking out loud. Right. Yeah. We could never keep the portals open for very long. But we tempted, attempted to many times. Until we got one open. <gasps> and we couldn't close it. Oh no. He goes on to say that when one demonic portal was opened, simultaneously it seemed any of the other orbs that were found at the time had opened others. But beyond that, he doesn't know what happened. He assumes since you're all alive, obviously Faerun didn't perish to all kinds of demons and hellscape. <laughs> yeah. Well. 
hypothetically, this could also be a different realm. It's not to say that you weren't flung from a from a different one. Sorry. Uh, that actually kind of like stops him in his tracks, and he just like covers a hand over his skull, like, "Oh my god, I never considered that." <laughs> We're making him sorry, have an sorry, existential sorry. crisis. <laughs> Just hi hypothesizing. Perhaps he is the far flung. <laughs> uh, I'm going to look at Sola. It's like, what does Pagath have to do with this? Because uh, he seemed to understand how the orb worked, at least somewhat. Oh, didn't I? Swipe like a book that was related to the orb. No, you you, you swiped one, and that was location of magic items. I oh fuck! I remember you looking at it, but since he was in the same room, I don't think you took the chance to. Because I, I do vaguely remember you looking at some papers that seem to be how he controls it. <laughs> no, I got Candor to look at it. I think. Shit. If the players don't remember, it's information that's lost forever. I'm sorry, repeat that. My friend was talking to me and I didn't hear anything. I'm pretty sure I got you to look at it, because you ran up there. No, look at what? That's the part I missed. The book. Uh, that helped uh, describe or explain how to use the orb. That was that last session. I've got a lot of notes. That, yes. That was, yeah, that was two weeks ago, yeah. Okay. Let me, let me look. I've got like six pages from last week, so, or two weeks ago. Oh wow, I'm proud that I'm giving you guys that much information. In the back of my mind, oh my god, I have that much information. <laughs> anyway, we'll just continue, like, whatever's going on. I'll look. I, I would say, if my, unless Candor's notes say something else, I remember that you guys were in a drastic rush to try and make it work, so nothing was held on to. And it was a, it was like trying to jury rig an interdimensional portal at best. Yeah. Uh. Kandor, how good is your memory? Uh, better than average. Shrug. Okay. I very much remember you looking at that book. Can you try to remember the name of the author on that book? Oh, uh, Gandalf, the master I of reading. I try. <laughs> Imagine that. A memory. I, I I'm gonna say this right now. That's not it. But I'm kind of mad that you know what? I totally would have done that if I didn't think of that first. <laughs> the memoir and memories of Gandalf. <laughs> How to use the orb, part four. <laughs> <laughs> Oh Pegith is just Grandolf who forgot his name. Oh lord. Given like none of the listeners any good time for fan theories, man, just destroying them all. <laughs> it's our job. Yeah. We're the fans too. We have our theories. Aww. I mean, I, if I could do like a history check, I can try to remember. I would. Yeah, yeah, a history check would be it because it's basically your memory. It's her own personal history. Six. Nope. We're kind of more focused on not dying. Yeah. yeah. I didn't really interact with Solo a lot last game. To be honest. Because I had my own shit going on in my head. Oh my god, everyone had some really good shit. I know. I know. <laughs> it was so fun. Ah. Um. What would interacting with me have to do with that? I didn't say that, just said I was doing my own thing, and I didn't really, don't remember interacting with you a lot, god. That's just a side note you're saying that? I'm believing all of this is said in character in my head. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, I was preoccupied, I had a whole fucking turkey sandwich to eat, thank you. I'm just gonna facepalm. I forgot about the turkey. <laughs> that was a whole, whole turkey. turkey sandwich or a whole turkey sandwich? It was a sandwich. whole turkey sandwich. How, speaking of my magical items book, um, I'm going to start 
thumbing through it kind of as we're having our discussions and searching for anything orb related. Oh, awesome. Actually, that is perfect because that's something I've set up for. <laughs> Let me grab my book. There you are. You will not find this uh, orb in your book of magical items. However, if you do want to go through the magical items, I have something fun for you. And I need you to fun add... like, haha? Uh -huh, or... I will explain in a second. Perfect. I'm gonna roll a d8 here really quickly. Uh, I'll talk while I'm doing this. You guys mentioned uh, way earlier in the campaign you wanted a way of sort of circumventing how to find interesting magical items you could hunt for on your own. So I set up a system for that. Ooh. So as you're peering through the book, Ooh, okay. I'm gonna say as I do this, or in character as uh, Sola's doing this, anybody else can have their fun talking. They're all racist. They don't want to talk to him. They don't want to talk to a drow. <laughs> What? I'm the drow! <laughs> Rude motherfuckers, that better not be the issue! It's definitely hey, it. I was talking to you, thank you. You find a page in the book that interests you quite a bit. Uh, you find a section called The Figurines of Wondrous Power. They are cool. different figures represented by different animals, each one doing something else. The bronze griffin statue uh, allows you to basically summon a real ass fucking griffin uh, for six hours. And since it is a stone griffin, or rather a bronze griffin, it can carry quite a bit of weight and help you guys escape. Uh, there is one of an ebony fly, golden lions, ivory goats, marble elephant, obsidian steed, serpentine owl, and a silver ram, and a couple others that have sort of like hypothetical segments to them. Different animals, different symbols, and a couple of more demonic looking ones. Clearly statues that have been seen in history, but no one's been able to really rediscover or get the real magical inclinings of them. The ones I mentioned before that are listed and that are canon to D&D, you <laughs> actually have passages in the books that tell you where they are currently located. Is any close to us? Who's reading the book? Sola is. Oh. Hmm. That is a good question, so I will say above game. Uh, most of them are scattered all over Faerun, but none oh, in your end of the continent. <coughs> question. Mm -hmm. Does there seem to be any notes written in this book from Pegath? Hmm. He seems like the type of the dude that would write in books where shit is. Mm -hmm. That is a fair point. I'm gonna roll I mean, a lot of people write in books. Yeah, monsters. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, in my creative writing classes, they always told me, you should write in your books. I was well, like, they're wrong. I know. I was oh, like... <laughs> I, was like me to hear. I know. I was just like, but why? It's like... I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that you find some loose papers folded between the pages, and those papers are... The notes are where the statues are located. And knowing Pagif, you are a hundred percent sure that he knows what he's talking about. So if you guys ever want to look for any specific statue out of game, you can tell me, and I will come up with a mini adventure for that. Yay, adventures! If you could let me know the locations, 
I'll put little images on the map so that I keep track of them. All right, yeah, I think that's another thing I'll do tonight is come up with the locales. I have a system for that, too. Perfect. And is are those the only items that are listed in the book? Yeah, the, the Canon ones to D&D have actual locations as they've been discovered and are being and are distributed to different people or locations the other ones that have been seen but don't know what the powers are those are the ones still yet discovered are those the only are those the only items that are in the book though uh that's all you get chance to read before you have to go to bed your bedtime is in one more hour young lady <laughs> how <laughs> yeah, kid, easy. You have to sleep. <laughs> I'm Rude. gonna say every every long rest. If you take time to read the book, I'm going to use my system to roll for magic items, and I will give you a new one to check out. Cool. Yeah, I'll agree with that. So, I really like the way I've set up how to do this. It's fun. Uh, is there anything anyone else wants to say or do before we get close to the wrap up? <laughs> No. Uh, I want to bring out my magical key that was Pagath's and look at Shadow Man and just be like, do you know anything about this? Still on my necklace. <laughs> I am so glad you brought that out. I would never uh, let anyone have it because it's sparkly and it is a shiny and I'm part dragon. So... <laughs> You see him sort of like motion to like not pull it off your neck, but to like let it sit in his hand. Uh, I can do that. He eyes it for a little bit, lets go of it, and begins uh, writing in the paper. It has been some time since I've seen an item of such, so maybe newer magics have been developed, but back in my day... That is what we called a portable house key. A kind of a cute name to say a key that when attuned to uh, lets you create your own portable estates, which can be as vast and as uh, creative as you are able to spend time attuning and creating it. <gasps> Did you see? Very, very, like... Holding back excitement. I'm so glad I have this key. I'm so glad I have this key. <laughs> uh, he actually goes on to say, um, did you recently create or purchase that item? Uh, it's funny how you haven't attuned to that yet. We could be sleeping in a much uh, more comfortable situation if you wanted. Um, I found it. As somebody else's belongings. Roll a deception. <laughs> well, roll a deception well, check with advantage because that's technically not a lie. I mean, I, I mean, didn't find it on a dead body. Well, well, well. To be fair, though, I have explained what happened with Pegasus. Yeah. Is fair, it deception? Did, you know what? That's fair because he tried, he tried to, to kill, kill us. All. Yeah. So I think I think uh, I think Blackstaff doesn't really care. He also never asked for the key back, so that's his own fault. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Kander, go ahead and roll an Arcana check on the key. Oh, yes. That was bad. No, that's actually perfect. Like, it's it's enough for okay. you to know that this key is actually brimming with magical energy. You think it's not attuned to anyone anymore. You know, because Pagan's dead. Is he, though? Only one way to find out, and you can spend uh, the rest of your long rest attuning to this key and still get some sleep. Uh, yeah. Duh. <laughs> Why would I not attune to a magical key that lets me have, like, a fucking mansion? Thank you. Uh, I need to put this key in my list of attuned items. I've got two out of my allotted three. <laughs> and uh, is there anything else you guys want to do? So I completely missed why she was asking about the key. So it's magic. It, it's a magical key. It's the key that let you guys get in and out of Pagif's little dimensional estate, and it may or may not be attuned to Pagif anymore. I guess we'll have to find out. Yep. So he can tell us ma about magical items. 
he was able to confirm that it is a magical key, but... Okay. It's, okay. it's all, all math have... key. I like yeah. that. All I have written for this item, and I'm, that's okay. <laughs> yeah. you know, in fact, um... I like that I like that you're asking the questions about that. Go ahead and roll an insight. Since you're asking like some sol solid questions about he knows magic, go ahead and roll an insight check. Nope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, like all of us who are we talking to? Uh mostly Vortun since he was like, "Wait, he knows magic?" Mm -hmm. like, I mean He's been sitting there doing druid. Doing, he's he's been, been doing druid magic this whole time. Yeah, but mm -hmm. his general knowledge. Because I was thinking I could ask him about my shield. Above game, I like where Vorton was going with this, but you know that nat one. Candor, mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. you're you're at least able to tell. Hmm. I'm gonna ask him more questions about magic shit later. Oh, definitely. All right. Is everyone set for that? Uh, essentially, you have two characters in your party now who don't need to sleep. Uh, you can actually let Vorton and Blackstaff do the watch for you all. Or, if you'd rather not put your fate in their hands, you can take rounds. Um, as much as I love sleep, I don't trust Vorton. I don't trust Vorton Vorton can't either. see in the dark. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Why would you trust Vorton to watch in the dark? Come on, guys. I mean, we have a, we have a fire. Yeah, that good. makes awesome. that makes it impossible to see past the range of the fire. Have you never sat around the fire? <laughs> All right. Um, how who how do how do you guys want to do this order then? I'll go first, so I can just like spend time admiring my key. That's, that's good. You can immediately attune to the key for the next day. Yes. I'm going to suggest that Vortun takes the last shift as, like, the sun will begin to rise in the middle of his shift and he can see clearer. Yeah. I'll, I'll take, like, the middle shift if we okay. want to do that because I have really good... Well, I have dark vision. I mean, we all do, but... Yeah, okay. Uh, so the question then comes, who comes before and after Sola then? Uh, is it going to be Bliss or Randolph? Um, uh, I, I was gonna say I don't see Grandolf even offering, honestly. Yeah. No, same. he's already sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> is Grandolf just opting out of the watch. Oh, yeah, he needs sleeping. his beauty sleep. I need my beauty sleep, man. Uh, listen, I'm not judging. I'm just trying to be completely sure so we don't so we don't wake him up. All right, I like this. Uh, Candor, go ahead and roll me a perception check. Let's scroll up. 16. <laughs> the night is pretty calm. You definitely hear sounds in the forest that you, as a city boy especially, you've never heard. The different cricks and cracks of grass and wood breaking and echoing in the forest. The different uh, high-pitched sort of whizzing noises of certain bugs. And you start to hear different, like, howls and sort of... Like, what you... Thought was like a rooster at one point. What the shit? Why is a rooster out here in the forest? Um, go ahead. I was just gonna say, uh, like thirty minutes into my watch, I'm just gonna ritually cast silence <laughs> around us, <laughs> so everyone just sleeps. It's just quiet until the next person shift, and then I'll just let it go. I like that. It only lasts like ten minutes. I just want some time to just quiet time. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's fine. Uh, when the sounds do return, it's just mostly stuff off into the distance, the crickets chirping in the background, just simple sounds of the forest. And then the back, that's where you occasionally hear the howl or the cockadoodle-doo of an evil <laughs> And I'm getting cold for some reason? Is that the cockadoodle-doo? <laughs> <laughs> that's the cockadoodle-doo. <laughs> uh -oh.
Okay, now you guys can hear me. Yes. Hello. Muted, muted myself for uh, that. Apparently, the chili, the rest of the chili is for tomorrow, and uh, I'm not allowed to have any more. So. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, after the the sudden shock of an orchestra playing in the background, Candor, the rest of your watch goes uneventful. As uh, Bliss, you are the next up. I I, I want to say that like I gently kick her and I say, "Get up, bitch! It's your turn." Bliss rolls over. All right, you get eaten in the middle of the night. That's on you. <laughs> Bliss flips him the bird and then goes back to sleep. Okay, okay. I'm going to bed. Okay. <laughs> this is interesting. <laughs> Let's see how. Let's see what the. Let's see what the the D twenty collective has to say about this. Sleeping bliss and awake bliss are different Would people. Vorton see this? Because I'm. I think Vort Vorton's awake. Vorton would see this. Yes. Vorton just sighs and gets up and grabs bliss by like the scruff. Oh god. Oh god. Were well, you gonna wake everybody up? Just drags her out to watch. <laughs> Just throw her on one of the stumps. Yep. yep. I just like see this happening. I'm like, hey, be easy with that bitch. It's my bitch. <laughs> Will do. Let's well, just up. like <laughs> give Kendra a look. Like, what? excuse me, ho? It's like, bitch, I don't want you, but. <laughs> you know, it's like motioning to like, my best friends. Like, I thought that was a thing. You know, <laughs> we all appreciate that both Bliss and Kandor talk like as if they have, they think they've been to prison, but never actually have. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's just that's because how I talk to my best friend. Prison. Yeah, that's how I talk to my best friend. She's my bitch. It's fine. Uh, Bliss, go ahead and make a perception check. Unless you're going to spy nope. <gasps> natural twenty, <laughs> you. This is gonna be fun, actually. You. Plus see... is expe exceptionally perceptive out of spite. <laughs> <laughs> you see something a little odd in the background. You, you kind of think it's just sort of like the the sort of heat from the flames as a mirage, but. No, you definitely see it. It's re it's rather brief. And it disappears into the forest. It's like this little bit of <laughs> It's like this little bit of um I guess like the best way to put it is sort of like this translucent blur. And once this blur separates into different directions, it goes into the forest unable to be seen. Nothing else seems to happen during your watch, but you know you saw that. Cool. Next up will be Sola's turn. Yeah, what What am I rolling? You will roll a perception. I want to ask, Bliss, do you pass on to Sola? Why is there a squirrel? <laughs> Why is there a squirrel? Um, where is there a s <laughs> <laughs> It looks more like an Eevee. I actually thought it, Candor was just drawing their cat. I was, <laughs> thank you. God, at least somebody gets it. Jesus. Um, yes, I've been known to have an, uh, an exquisite <laughs> taste in the arts. <laughs> Fuck. Thanks. By all means, during the session, if you guys... Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, Ralph! <laughs> Uh, by the by the way, like as the campaign goes on, at least on this page, if you guys actually just want to draw, like that's totally fine with me. Jesus, it, it helps keep your focus. Is that's funny? Uh, Bliss, do you pass on to Solo what you saw? Nope. Wow. It's like you all want to die. Uh, okay. That's I'm... like double death at this point. <laughs> That'd Bliss, be triple death. Bed. <laughs> Bliss, you go to bed without telling Solo anything. Sola, roll a perception check for me. We'll see how this goes. Uh, as I sit down, I'm going to ask how the watch has been so far with uh, Blackstaff. Because he's been here this whole time, right? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Blackstaff just sort of... Uh, 
just sort of, sort of just uh, gives like a, a hand gesture to say like everything's been kind of calm. Kind of waves his hands back and forth. Okay, sounds good. Uh, and then you said perception. Yep. Nope. <laughs> wow. Uh oh. Oh boy. Okay then. This is how we're gonna end tonight's session. Um, you don't see them coming at first because you can't see them coming. By the time that you realize something is wrong, Sola, you already feel an animalistic hot breath breathe down your, the back of your shoulder. And you feel the pain of large jaws crunching down on your torso before you even realize you've been pulled forward in the log. I need you to make an athletics check. An athletics check? Is it... I, I don't get a reaction at all? This is your reaction. Oh, okay. Uh... uh are you guys done fighting for dominance over there? Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> That's what they're doing. It is. Alright, let me roll for this. Sola, one part of your brain, the thing, the only thing that's functioning in this moment of panic makes you know that you want to scream, to kick, to do something, but you're just pulled away too fast. And by the time anyone wakes up to hear you screaming, your echoes are what gets them. Is that, Excuse like, me. magical at all? Nope. Excuse it, me. Well, Excuse me. Would Vorton see this? He's sitting right there. <laughs> oh yeah, that's fine. Actually, this might to this might actually save Sola's life. I'll say this: the fi what's grab how it's grabbing you is not magical. It's just very strong and very fast, and it's very fucking sudden. Uh, Vorton, make a perception with disadvantage. Oof. Oof. Nope. Okay. Uh, now make a standard perception check. Alright. The fires glisten this sort of translucent form, and you almost don't catch it at first because it's just so si it's just so slow, but you see the blur of this large cat-like figure as it's about to just dr <sighs> drop its jaw onto Sola. You're not fast enough to stop it from trying to uh, chomp down on her, but you can make an, an athletics check to keep it from getting away. Okay. I think I know what this is. Um, oh, that was not what I meant to click. I mean, Divine Favor would probably be really nice right about now. <laughs> yeah, but I need to cast that before something happens. Mm -hmm. But, um, I meant to click elsewhere on the screen. So I'm not fast, so I see it happening, but I'm not fast enough yeah, to you, stop you, it from happening. Right, you are fast, you're not fast enough to stop Sola from being initially attacked, mm -hmm. but this thing's about to run off with her, so you have enough time to react to stop that. Okay, what do you want me to roll for that? Just You can either make an athletics check, or if you want to use one of your abilities or attacks, you can. Hmm. So I was going to see if I could use... Um, my fighting style, but that is when a creature you can see attacks a target, so. Yeah, you're, you're not initially able to, to get the, to stop the attack. So, question, though. Mm -hmm. I do have an amulet of piercing resistance, and a bite is a piercing attack. That is very true. I'm going to say resistance cuts damage, not the ability to hit so with that reminder this actually puts you in a much more better position so thank you for reminding me about that you're actually not as bad off as you might have been okay <laughs> yeah i'm just gonna straight up dive at this like tackle this thing all right you're gonna football tackle this motherfucker gonna... rolling athletics 
<laughs> nice. And I do All it right. while making as much noise as I can. You're well, a you are. Farmer. Right. You, you can't so really hard. not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay. So here's the fun thing. Vorton, you leap forward immediately without even has it any kind of hesitation, knowing that you're not going to be able to stop the, the biting, which uh, I will give you uh, the damage on that later, Sola. For uh, sure. You literally tackle this thing off of Sola as your amulet of resistance actually lets this thing's teeth only dig into you so slightly, and it just grazes the rest of your skin as Vorton pull, uh, rips it off. Vorton, how do you hold this thing? You have this uh, grappled. Mm. Did I see like what shape it was, or is it just a shimmering? The, the most that you can tell is that it's sort of this translucent cat-like figure, like about the size of like a jaguar. Okay, I basically grab it like around its middle, like I'm going to right. suplex it. <laughs> but I don't. Nice. And I squeeze. As as this goes on, everyone, thanks to the sound of the armor, everyone else wakes up just enough time to stop the rest of the stealth attack that the rest of these things were going to go on. And we are going to end tonight's session as you guys are attacked as the morning begins to rise. I have a thing in point blank range and I'm holding it. Guess what that means? <laughs> Yep. Easy fucking kill. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> are you just gonna like? Are you just gonna do like the thing from King Kong where you open up its jaw and just breathe fire into it? You mean Godzilla? <laughs> but yes. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. That's Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> How cool would King Kong be if he could breathe like nuclear fire though? Let's That'd be, be terrifying. <laughs> That'd be the best. Though so, uh, Kong kind of does that, that too, too in, in the newest movie. He does, he does grab the T-Rex and like force yeah, like, open, open his up his jaw. And yeah, that's what it. I was thinking. And I'm like, oh yeah, Godzilla did that too. Yeah, it was kind cooler. of. Uh, that is tonight's session. I hope, as usual, you guys had a lot of fun. I liked a lot of the banter. This, <laughs> this was good banter tonight. We always have good banter. <laughs> this is very true. Usually. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or wants for the future of the campaign, as usual, feel free to message me on Discord. I'm going to be up the rest of the night uh, kind of solidifying the notes that we got done today and in introducing the calendar. And if you guys need to talk to me at all, just let me know. Thanks again for playing. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for now, DMing. Good yes. night. You too. Yeah. Well, good night. I know what this